It's reporting about 50 people arrested after a pro-Palestinian demonstration in a Senate cafeteria. It happened during the uh, noon lunch hour, the busiest time for traffic in the Dirksen cafeteria. It's the largest cafeteria on the Senate side. A lot of Hill staffers, aides, um, lobbyists, press. A lot of people are come through there to eat. Fox's Aisha Hosni on Capitol Hill. Some of the protesters with their hands painted red. It's illegal to demonstrate inside any congressional building. This follows disruptions earlier today. How many children have to die for you to be satisfied? During a Senate hearing on the Pentagon budget, protesters accusing the Biden administration of supporting genocide in Gaza. U.S. and Israeli counterparts plan to meet next week about Israel's plans for a ground invasion of Rafah. This is not the best way forward. There are better ways to go after Hamas and Rafah. We presented those ways to our Israeli counterparts in a session we held last week. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan also says no date has been shared with the U.S. after Israel's prime minister said a date has been set for a Rafah operation. The White House calls an abortion ruling in Arizona devastating and alarming. The state Supreme Court says Arizona can enforce a more than century old law that makes abortion illegal except when the mother's life is in danger. With today's decision, millions of Arizonians will soon face an even more extreme and dangerous abortion ban than they did before. Spokeswoman Karine Jean Pierre repeating President Biden's call for Congress to pass a law restoring the protections of Roe versus Wade nationwide. Seven Republican-led states are suing over the president's continued efforts to cut or cancel student loan debt. The suit alleges the president is seeking to unilaterally wipe out the debt with his SAVE plan. The states argue the Supreme Court ruled taxpayers cannot be made to pick up that burden. Fox's Grinnell Scott. America is listening to Fox News. 93 WIPC Mobile News. On the level. On the go. They've made an arrest, mostly cloudy sky, 70 degrees in downtown Indianapolis. Nothing on the radar with rain possible later. You'll have a low of 52 tonight. I'm Harrison Silcox. Here's what's trending at 302. A 17-year-old in Indianapolis who was arrested on felony criminal recklessness charges is facing those charges as an adult. John Herrick explains why. His name is King Dennis. Police believe he was involved in a shooting that injured seven kids in downtown Indianapolis on March 30th at the corner of Illinois and Maryland streets. The Marion County County prosecutor's office says because of Dennis's criminal history and the conduct he's accused of, he has to be charged as an adult. All seven kids that were hurt in that shooting are expected to recover, but here was a frustrated IMPD chief Chris Bailey from that night. We all have to take a collective look in the mirror. Police say the investigation into this is not over. John Herrick, 93, WIBC Mobile News. That shooting's why IMPD began enforcing a curfew in downtown Indy. There were no violations this past weekend. We want our youth and everyone to be able to come and visit downtown and visit all parts of our city. We want that to happen in a responsible way. IMPD Lieutenant Shane Foley, he says that curfew is going to stay in place until you hear otherwise. Someone's dead after a shooting near an apartment on the northeast side this afternoon. According to IMPD, the person was found near the Arborstone apartments. Any info on a possible suspect or who the victim is has not been reported yet. One of the candidates trying to represent Indiana's 5th Congressional District is Raju Chintala. I don't talk bullshit. I talk the real issues real things. I'm a guy who can get the things done. He told WIBC's Tony Katz if he's elected, he would get rid of wasteful spending in favor of protecting Social Security. We're expecting several inches of rain, says National Weather Service forecaster Joe Neal. Late today into tonight, uh, we'll have uh, some showers and a few thunderstorms. Uh, could produce some locally heavy rainfall, but not really uh, anything that we're super concerned about. Neal says there's a chance for severe weather east of Indianapolis Wednesday. You're one minute away from traffic and weather. It's 304. Hey, guys, it's Rob from my friends at Universal Windows Direct. And, man, they just have an incredible deal going on right now. You can't beat it. Call Universal Windows Direct today at 317-659-7574. And for every two windows you buy, get the next two free. Buy two, get two. Buy four, get four. Buy 20, get 20. There's no limit. Plus, they'll upgrade your new windows to triple pane glass for free. That means extra protection from the elements, a consistent temperature in your home, increased energy efficiency, and reduced heating and cooling costs 
plus a quieter and more comfortable home. And in addition to these incredible windows, they're giving you such a great price. Universal Windows Direct right now when you call 317-659-7574, 317-659-7574 to schedule your free in-home estimate today. Buy two, you get two free. Plus, yes, there's more. If you mention my name, Rob Kendall, you get $250 off your project. Universal Windows Direct, tell them Rob sent you. The traffic of the five set three oh five. Good afternoon, Matt Bear. Good afternoon, Harrison. Looking at eastbound seventy out of the north is split slow right now until Rural Street, Keystone Avenue. Southbound sixty five stop and go West Street to Meridian Penn. Northbound thirty seven stop and go traffic as you make your way up from Epler two four sixty five because of construction. Traffic sponsored by Mr. Quick Home Services Springs here, so it's the perfect time to get your HVAC in top shape with Mr. Quick's forty nine dollar preseason tune up. Get ahead of the heat and enjoy comfort all summer. Visit at MrQuickHomeServices.com and get your tune-up today. I'm Matt Bear. Follow us for instant traffic updates at WIBC Traffic. And the forecast from the American Standard Heating Weather Center. Mostly cloudy skies for the day today. A few spotty showers south of I-70 this afternoon with highs near 72. 51 tonight under mostly cloudy skies. I'm Wish TV storm tracking meteorologist Tara Hastings for 93 WIBC. I'm Harrison Silcox on the level on the go and on WIBC.com. Hammer and Nigel. Can you believe these characters are weird? My, oh, my hammer. Hallelujah. We have a full-fledged miracle on our hands. Police arrested that 17-year-old mass shooter that injured seven juveniles in downtown Indianapolis over a week ago. But that's not the miracle. Great police work, but that's not, not the miracle I'm talking about. I'll read a tweet here from friend of the show, FOP President Rick Snyder. Alert. Arrest made in downtown Indy mass shooting. Shout out to Prosecutor Ryan Mears for charging the juvenile suspect as an adult due to his criminal history and seeking greater than standard bond. Wow. So you're telling me Whoa. that not only did Ryan Mears do his job and charge this lunatic as an adult, but the FOP president is praising Ryan Mears? Yeah, I'm going to go a little bit of a different route. No credit for doing your job. Sorry. <laughs> but, but the bar is so yeah, low, the bar Nigel. Is very low. The for, bar is by the ground, though. For the, for, the, for, for the prosecutor. I know what you're saying, but I am just, I'm stunned. I'm flummoxed. Jaw hit the floor when I saw that. So there's 17 year olds being charged as an adult. They're seeking higher than normal bond. And hopefully this dude will be in jail for a long time. Now, this was the shooting that took place. Near the mall on Saturday night, March 30th, around 11 o'clock, and a 12-year-old was involved in this. Like, you had juveniles. And when we say juveniles, most people think anywhere from the age of 15 to 17. There were 12-year-olds involved in this nonsense. And a lot of gunfire taking place. Now, the court documents say that 17-year-old King Dennis was one of two people arrested at the scene and later released. Now, they were fighting with the police, but ultimately they were later released. But the surveillance video and the body cam video from the arrest okay. showed Dennis was wearing the exact same jacket that he had on the night of the shooting. Ah. So, again, all this technology is really helping out law enforcement in Indianapolis. It's crazy to think for so long the FOP and the IMPD basically had to beg for this type of technology, and it's really been coming up big the last couple of months. I thought there was an interesting tweet from uh, another friend of the show, Reverend Charles Harrison, who is leader of the Ten Point Coalition. Uh, he tweeted this out uh, just a day or two ago. After the mass shooting last Saturday night, parents in Indianapolis responded this weekend no juveniles were held in custody by IMPD because of violating the curfew on Friday or Saturday night. Let's keep doing this, parents, every day. Let's hope that that's not an anomaly. Let's hope that's the start of a trend. And that's one of the things that when you were out and I, Jerry Lopez and I talked to the chief of police, Chris Bailey, about it's like, all right, you want to do this curfew, but it has to have teeth to it because we know you're short 350 officers. How many officers yeah. can you afford to put downtown to card people and babysit? And his response, to his credit, was, we're already babysitting downtown. 
that's how ridiculous it is with the juveniles and the nonsense they're bringing to the city. So good for the IMPD. Can't believe I'm going to say this. Thank you to Ryan Mears yeah. for actually doing your job one damn time, even if it's just this one time. What's the expression? A sun shines on a dog's rear end once in a while. <laughs> That's Something what's like going that. on right here. Like, this is how shocked we are that this guy actually did his job. You know? I say, again, no credit for doing something you ought to have been doing anyway right. the entire time as prosecutor. But if you've got a petulant child, right, and you've been trying so hard to get him to do his homework, and he's got an F in the class, but he finally turns in one assignment, <laughs> and you go, thank you. See, you can do it. You actually can do it if you put your mind to it. That's where I'm at with Ryan Mears right now. Uh, did you stay up to watch the entire <laughs> UConn and Purdue game, Nudge? <laughs> Let me rephrase that question. Did you make the tip-off of UConn versus Purdue? I did Purdue? make the tip-off. <laughs> um, it looked like it was going to be a game there for a while, for a half at least, and then um, then the halftime hit, and I just kind of started getting drowsy. I woke up like at 1230, had to look and see who won the game on my phone. I did not have a good feeling about this game at all. Um, and I wasn't surprised when Purdue lost. I mean, Zach Eadie's stud, 37 points, but, man, they, they put the hurting on Purdue, man. And, and it's, the it's better gonna, team won. Of course. Of the course. better team won. And it wasn't just you that got drowsy at halftime. It was the uh, <laughs> Purdue offense. But here's the final yeah. call from the national championship game last night. It is a UConn coronation. The Huskies make history. Back-to-back -back national champions. Number one lives up to the billing. They defeat Purdue 75 to 60. They've done it again. So, as we talked about Man. yesterday, Purdue fans are not going to get the moment that I had back in 2016 when the Cubs finally broke through and yeah, won it all. That's a bummer. The team you care the most about. Like, I've been pretty lucky. I've seen a Colts Super Bowl. I've seen the Tennessee Volunteers win a football championship. Um, I've seen the Cubs just absolutely lift me up and bring me joy in 2016. Purdue fans were looking for that, and it did not happen last it's night. It's just like all the teams I was kind of paying attention to and passionate about just kind of were I, – Purdue, I, I'm not going to use the word disappointing at all. They were not a disappointment. They – they were the second best team in the nation. Zach Eady is one of the most dominant players ever at his position. Uh, it just didn't work out. But like you know, I wanted. I was looking forward to women's I Iowa. You know, with right. the women's college basketball. I had never in my life watched men, men, at full length women's college basketball games at all. And I've watched a ton of them. Disappointed that Indiana State couldn't pull it out in the NIT. And I'm yeah, I'm disappointed that, that Purdue can't get that uh, championship. So after uh, Connecticut was crowned the winner and they cut down the nets and one shining moment played on television, we're told they got a, a special message. Oh, This was the message that was sent to the Connecticut basketball team from A.I. Kamala Harris. Congrats to Connecticut for winning the baseball game. <laughs> I didn't watch the game. But then again, I've also never been to Europe. A.I. <laughs> Kamala Harris sending her well wishes to UConn. She's never been to the border and she's never been to Europe. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> now, Baseball game. here's the thing that bothers me a little bit. And again, I feel like I'm coming at this from a pretty neutral place. I'm a Tennessee guy, right? So Purdue yeah. versus IU, I respect the rivalry. But Purdue will always tell you, we're not little brother. We've been kicking Indiana's backside for the last 20 something years you know indiana can't even make the tournament anymore we're the big brother in the state now and then what does iu come back with the banners right what have you won yeah you know our banners are dusty but there are things up there to <laughs> collect dust right. but this is what bothers me so they had a viewing party at Mackey arena in west lafayette yeah, yesterday big crowd big crowd students were there they had a game on the jumbotron and in typical purdue fashion there was a certain chant about that team from Bloomington, Indiana, that broke out in the arena. I, 
I you I you sucks. sucks. Is that what they were chanting? Yeah. <laughs> Give it to me one more time, Allison. <laughs> IU sucks. Why were they doing that when their team's in the natty? You know what right. I mean? Right. Who cares what IU's doing? You're literally minutes away from tipping off a natty. You're playing for the chip. See, this is why people call you little brother. Yes, your team is substantially better, and they have been for a long time. And the good recruits in Indiana right now are probably thinking Purdue more than anybody else in the state. But when you do that kind of crap, when you're focused on IU, when you're getting ready to play for the national championship, that's what makes you a little brother. Yeah. That kind of stuff right there. Bush League. All right, Matt Bear, what's going on? Southbound 65, stop and go traffic, West Street to Meridian Penn. And eastbound 70, slow out of downtown from the north split to Rural Street, Keystone Avenue. That also comes with a delay on northbound 65, 70 from Michigan Street up to the north split. It's not too bad right now. Traffic sponsored by Trade Heating and Cooling Systems. Get a great deal this spring on a new Trade Heating and Cooling System. Train systems are engineered to keep up with you. Visit traininfo.com to find your local independent train dealer and learn more. It's hard to stop a train. I'm Matt Bear, follow us for instant traffic updates at WIBC Traffic. I mean, if it's a random game or something, fine. I get it. It's tradition. But this was the national yeah. championship, and you're more concerned about IU than anything else? Come on, man. Right now, 70 at the American Standard Heating Weather Center. And coming up here in a, a little while, we've got a lot of cool stuff for you. We're going to play Is This Anything? We've got Caller Roulette. Uh, our pal Scott Pollard is going to join us. Oh, wow. An amazing journey yeah. in regards to his heart transplant. Former uh, Jayhawk, former Pacer player, Scott Pollard. Yes. He's yeah. got an amazing story. We'll talk to him. And coming up a little bit after 5 o'clock, information on our Tales from the Track event. So if you are an Indy 500 fan, stick around. You don't want to miss that coming up after 5. And look, if you think you're too busy to exercise and be healthy, you got to think again. That's what I kind of thought when I started training at Exercise Inc. several years ago. I think back in 2017, I'm still with the program. All I do is show up once a week for my private 20-minute workout. You heard me right. Once a week for 20 minutes. It's helped me be more flexible. It's helped me lose weight. It's helped me to build muscle. I, my clothes fit differently with Exercise Inc. It's a private studio. There's no mirrors. There's no music. And it's just you and your coach. You feel better. You lose some weight. You're going to probably look better if you stick with the program. So go once a week for your private 20-minute workout. Then enjoy life because you'll be stronger and have more energy. Once a week, your private 20-minute workout. And when you follow the nine simple habits you need to follow to change your health and lose weight, your coach will help keep you accountable. Five locations, Avon, Brownsburg, Greenwood. I go to the one in Zionsville. And now in Fishers, exerciseinc.com, exerciseinc.com. Change your life in 20 minutes a week with Exercise Inc. Business, it's all the things that keep this world turning. And behind every one of these companies is a partner helping to keep it all moving. It's why the local flower shop and your favorite pizza joint, the startup in the stadium, hospitals and hotels, banks and restaurants nationwide, all choose the advanced network, cybersecurity solutions, and round-the-clock trusted partnership from Comcast Business, the company that powers more businesses than anyone else. Comcast Business, powering possibilities. See why Comcast Business powers more small businesses than anyone else. Get started with fast speeds and advanced security for $49 a month for 12 months with a two-year contract when you add one unlimited mobile line. Plus, ask how to get up to an $800 prepaid card with a qualifying gig bundle. Don't wait. Call to switch today. Ends 5624. Restrictions apply. New customers only with 100 megabits per second internet and security edge. EcoBill and AutoPay required. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. 
His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawontwait.com. Attention seniors, you're invited to the grand opening of CenterWell Pendleton Pike. CenterWell offers primary care centered on seniors. So come celebrate on Wednesday, April 10th at 8101 Pendleton Pike, Suite E in Indianapolis from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Enjoy food, music, and more at this free community event. Plus, tour the new doctor's office and meet the care team. For details, call 317-648-5581 or visit meetcenterwellindiana.com. My child has fallen in love with math and science. Every day she comes home from school and says, guess what I learned today? At IPS, she gets the kind of hands-on learning that works with her learning style. She does experiments. She learns how math is used in real life. With eight educational models to choose from, including STEM, IPS has a school for you. Choose your IPS today at myips.org. This ad was paid for by Indianapolis Public Schools. It pays to be early because at Cracker Barrel, you can get early dinner deals weekdays from 4 to 6 p.m. That includes their signature meatloaf, homestyle chicken, and more starting at just $8.99. So make tonight an early dinner night at Cracker Barrel. We'll see you there. You're listening to the Hammer and Nigel Show. Now, Hammer, I was thinking about this as a country. Maybe we're not as divided as you would think. At least that's my hope. Americans actually agree on a lot. This according, of course, to a report from a, a report from a sausage company. I'm sorry, what? A sausage company. The Johnsonville Sausage Company. I'm familiar with their work. Oh, yes. Oh, man. The better cheddars and the, the cheddar brats. Oh, so good. So this, <laughs> I don't know what they're doing here. This Johnsonville Sausage Company, they conducted a survey on American attitudes. And <laughs> 80% of adults say they're sick and tired of the anger and negativity in America. In fact, 89% want less negativity in the news and social media. According to the fine pollsters at Johnsonville. Well, no, not a pollster. This is a sausage company, and I like it. I think this. I think it's legit. I mean, people are less likely to lie to a sausage company than a, a political pollster, don't you think? Well, that's true. But, like, let's just say your job is, you know, coming out of college, really good at polling people about various issues. You've got an offer over here to work for the Democrats. You've got an offer over here to work for the Republicans. <laughs> and then over here, there's an offer from Johnsonville Brats. <laughs> I'm going with the Brats. You know what? Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you're right. Because i got to be honest. I trust the sausage people more than I trust anybody doing surveys and polls that are affiliated with actual politics right now. And look, 89%, whether this number is legitimate or not from the sausage company, 89% of people want less negativity in the news and social media. We're not lost on that. This show isn't anyway. We're trying, right. we're making a concerted effort. You know, just, I, I think we do this naturally anyway, but we have fun on this show. We talk about serious stuff when we have to. Right. But I have a good damn time every time, every day on this show. Very grateful, very lucky to be what I'm doing. So, And also, by the way, the negativity has led us to feel less connected, according to the Sausage Company survey. 60% of adults say that having fun with people has gotten harder, but 80% said there are people in their lives that they really want to reconnect really with, even if they disagree on some issues. These are pretty deep thoughts from brought people. <laughs> These are some pretty deep thoughts from the sausage makers, which brings us to great moments in <laughs> sausage history. Ladies and gentlemen, Colts owner Jim Ursay. I don't know how to make sausage. I don't know what goes into sausage, but I do know how to build a football team. <laughs> great moments in sausage history. You knew this one was coming. The guy that made the complaint call to Jimmy oh. Dean. Your products are very delicious. Love your sausage for 30-something years, but I can't take and feed a family of five on a little 12-ounce roll of sausage. I don't mind paying you more money for your 16-ounce roll of sausage, but you don't have it anymore. You've got a 12-ounce roll. 
and you got three men that weigh over 200 pounds apiece, a woman that's a little plump, and a daughter who's 13, <laughs> and you're going to try to take a 12-ounce roll of sausage and feed that, it ain't going to work. And as far as your 16 ounce in maple and sage, I don't eat that. I'm not from the north. I'm a Texas man, and I'm not going to buy two of those 12 ounce packages just because you want to downsize and charge the same goddamn price. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Somebody needs their ass kicked. <laughs> Great, Great moments, moments in sausage, sausage history. history. I'd love to know what that guy's idea of a little plump is. <laughs> oh, that's a classic. <laughs> And the next time Donald Trump does a rally in Texas, I want him to just basically feed off of that. Yeah. We don't eat maple and sage. <laughs> We're not from the north. Um, let's do a very quick, very abbreviated round of fun facts for kids. Oh. It's time for Hammer and Nigel's Fun Facts for Kids. Again, trying to be positive on this show. The numbers show people don't want negativity. They want to have more fun. And nobody has more fun than we do. So here's some fun but true information for the younger listeners that are tuning in to the Hammer and Nigel show. The birthday effect is trending in the news. Hmm? Statistically, you're more likely to die on your birthday than on a normal day. It's because celebrating your birthday is... Sometimes people do it too hard, they drink too much, they do too many drugs, and that leads to heart attacks. So remember, kids, <laughs> when you're having your big birthday parties with all your buddies at Chuck E. Cheese or in your backyard and you're playing on the jungle gym, many of those same friends could be carrying your coffin on the exact same day in the future. <laughs> Fun facts for kids! So now, how, how is that exactly that a... A fun, positive fact for kids, no less. We're talking about adults. birthdays. We're having a good time. You're more likely to die on your birthday. That's the that's the fun fact for the kid. For kids, okay. it's the Hammer and Nigel show. Still loving my Window Nation windows. They've saved me money on energy costs. My windows used to be drafty and foggy and cracked. They were old. They were from the original house. My house was built in the eighties. I said, Window Nation, get out here, please and fix my windows at look spring cleaning time at window nation if your windows are like mine now it's time to call window nation buy two windows get two free plus zero down zero interest and zero payments for 24 months i am a customer of window nation and with this deal there's no excuse for you to not be a customer of Window Nation. Energy efficient windows that will lower your bill. I'm telling you, they're the best in the business. And check this out. Buy two windows, get two for free. And if that's not enough, pay nothing with no interest for two full years. 866-90-NATION or go online to windownation.com. Whatever you do, be sure to tell them Hammer and Nigel sent you. Usually when I uh, go to Jay's Lobster and Fish Market, it's right there in the garage food hall in the Bottle Works District downtown. I'm all about the lobster rolls. But, man, they've got this new hot honey fried lobster roll that is absolutely mouth-watering. Oh, well, by the way, don't sleep on Palavana Cubano, the Cuban sandwich restaurant right there in the garage food hall. Whatever the case, Palavana Cubano is the perfect destination for anyone who loves delicious food and a great atmosphere. Palavana Cubano, tell them Hammer and Nigel sent you. Attention, Indiana homeowners. Are you dealing with a wet and moldy crawl space? Hi, I'm Adam Swain with Swain Co. Crawl Space and Basement Repair, your real, local, Indiana family-owned experts dedicated to fixing your crawl space right the first time. And with our new no-interest, no-payment financing, you can get the repairs you need without breaking the bank. Don't let crawl space water problems dampen your spirits. Call Swain Co., Indy's most trusted waterproofing experts at 317-407-1868 or swaincollc.com. Welcome to Tire Discounters. Oh, hiya, Phantom. Mike, you may be in big trouble with Chip Wood. Our owner? Free oil changes along with alignment? On any four-tire purchase. Michelin's up to 200 off? Yeah. Sorry, Mike, but I'm telling. But the Wood family is behind all this. Oh, those rascals. But don't tell the accountants. Of course not. And what do they do again? Buy any set of four tires at Tire Discounters and get a free alignment and oil change. Make the Michelin's and save up to 200 more. Tire. See store for details. 
93 WIPC Mobile News. On the level, on the go. So far, it might be working. 71 degrees, partly cloudy in downtown Indianapolis. Your radar's clear, low of 52 expected tonight. I'm Harrison Silcox. Here's what's trending at 329. Indianapolis police are keeping the curfew for kids in place. IMPD Lieutenant Shane Foley says police are trying to work with the community to prevent future violence after seven teenagers were shot near the Circle Center Mall last month. Our goal is not to just go out and just find every young person and you know enforce a curfew. Our goal and objective is to keep our young people, our youth safe. Police say nobody broke the curfew last weekend. Meanwhile, they've charged 17-year-old King Dennis for his part in the shooting. He faces two counts of criminal recklessness. Both of those counts are felonies. I'm Sean Herrick. On Tuesday morning, the Marion County Prosecutor's Office identified that teenager as King Dennis. Even though he's 17, they believe several things, including his criminal history, require him to face felony charges as an adult. IMPD is still reviewing surveillance video, and there could be more arrests. The shooting injured seven kids between the ages of 12 and 16 on March 30th in downtown Indy at the corner of Illinois and Maryland Streets. John Herrick, 93, WIBC Mobile News. President Joe Biden says Donald Trump wants to get rid of the Affordable Care Act if he's voted back into the White House. My predecessor and his MAGA friends want to, I love the phrase, the, the language they use, they want to terminate the Affordable Care Act. Biden announced his latest budget plan today, which includes funding for child care, saying prices are getting out of control. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says Israel's allowing some more help to some people in Gaza. More than 400 trucks were cleared to go into Gaza. And that is the most since October 7th in any given day. But what matters is results and sustained results. And this is what we will be looking at very carefully. There were anti-Israel protests in the U.S. Senate cafeteria earlier this afternoon. Senate can't eat until Gaza eats was the chant before police came in and moved everyone out. When it comes to unwinding with an alcoholic beverage in Indiana, the drink of choice is most often whiskey. A study from Consumer Affairs says that's the preferred beverage among Hoosiers, at least those who are 21 and over. You're one minute away from traffic and weather. It's 332. If you love spring in Indy but hate the paint, do what Lynn did. She called Rhino Shield. It is a single-wide manufactured home. We moved from our home, which we had the Rhino Shield on. Rhino Shield was what we were going to do. That was no question. We knew we were going to do it. Rhino Shield's a ceramic coating. It's not paint. It's better. The Rhino Shield representative came and we discussed what we wanted done. And this time, we had the roof done as well. Now, you can have the 25-year guaranteed protection of Rhino Shield for 15% off the regular price. Even the people that have been a little younger than us have said... They don't have to worry about getting just an everyday painter because Rhino Shield has the 25-year warranty, and um, we truly believe in this product. Here's Rhino Shield's Shane Smith. This offer is limited, so call me at 888-RHINO-41. That's 888-RHINO-41. Don't paint. Don't vinyl. Go Rhino! Never paint your house again. Rhino Shield! With traffic at 333, here's Matt Bear. All right, you got it, Harrison. Look at us at the bottom, 465 on the southeast. A side slow traffic from Brook Hill Road down to 74. Southbound 65, stop and go. West Street to Meridian Penn. Delay actually starts around 21st right now. Northbound 65, up in Tippecanoe Valley. Let's look at this. Uh, Tippecanoe Valley, Tippecanoe County. Stop and go traffic right now from State Road 26 up to State Road 18. That's a bad delay if you're heading up to... As Chicago or Northern Indiana. Traffic sponsored by Drexel Interiors. Get where the pros go. Drexel Interiors for Timberlake Kitchen and Bath Cabinets. Visit Drexel's Design Centers at 146th Street and River Road or on North Shadeland online at drexelin.com. I'm Matt Bear. Follow us for instant traffic updates at WIBC Traffic. And the forecast from the American Standard Heating Weather Center. Mostly cloudy skies for the day today. A few spotty showers south of I-70 this afternoon with highs near 72. 51 tonight under mostly cloudy skies. I'm Wish TV storm tracking meteorologist Tara Hastings for 93 WIBC. I'm Harrison Silcox on the level on the go and on WIBC.com. You're listening to the Hammer and Nigel Show anniversary of the 
murder of Indy officer Brianne Leith. She was killed in the line of duty uh, April 9th of 2020. You remember it well because obviously things were kind of chaotic with COVID going on. IMPD still out there doing their job and uh, she was responding to a domestic disturbance. The uh, killer fired a bunch of shots through the door and unfortunately one hit her and she's gone. And just a reminder that Judge Mark Stoner is the worst judge in Indianapolis. This was the guy, Judge Stoner. Please remember that name if his name pops up on a ballot in November that gave, I don't want to say a sweetheart deal, but justice was not served for the family of Breanne Leith because the sentencing was last week for Elias Dorsey. The man that fired those shots. Yeah, I was paying attention to that while I was in Florida. And I think it's okay to say sweetheart, plea deal. I mean, this was such sentencing, I'm sorry. A slap in the face to law enforcement. It was a slap in the face to the Leith family. That this guy, in theory, if he takes his meds and he's a good little soldier, he could be out in maybe twelve to fifteen years from murdering an IMPD officer and then opening the door, standing over her broken body, firing other shots at his girlfriend. This is disgusting. And I'm going to say this probably every single day on this show moving forward. Judge Mark Stoner is the worst judge in Indianapolis and Marion County. And if he's on the ballot this November, we always see those questions. Should judge so-and-so be retained Make sure you remember that name. Uh, a lot of people still talking about the eclipse yesterday, Nige. When you came home and talked to your family, what did you tell them it was like? I I mean, they watched it too. They, uh, uh, My son went over to a buddy at his house, and uh, my daughter, went, we just went over to, they went over to a neighbor's house, had a very clear view of the sun, because there's lots of trees where we're at, and you have to get kind of clear of that to see a full view of the sun. They loved it. I mean, they'd... I mean, I, I don't know if my kids fully understood the gravity and the, the the bigness of it, so to speak. Right. You know, they're 10 and 12. I, I was blown away by it. In fact, I just reposted, have you seen um, Elon Musk posted a video from uh, his space station of the full shadow passing over the Earth oh, from cool. outer space? I just retweeted that, at Hammer and Nigel, if you want to check that out. It was it was an incredible incredible moments but like you know my kids thought it was cool but then they went back to swimming <laughs> at my right. neighbor's house you know right. what i mean so uh I, I don't think they understood how significant it was but that's okay anybody who missed it yesterday maybe you were in the office in your car you couldn't get out and take a look um if you missed it the full thing this time around will get another chance around 2045 or you can just wait till tonight when it gets dark well, you could do that, but it's seeing it dark in the daytime, sure. which was a little wild. So and I said this yesterday. It was a different type of dark. I know that probably doesn't make any sense, but if you were out there, when totality hit, it was an eerie type of dark. You know, street lights were turning on. Temperature dropped immediately. And I totally get how way back in the day, thousands of years ago, people who didn't know any better oh, I know. probably thought the rapture was coming what was the i don't i still don't understand I, did you see a diamond in the to, in the totality uh eclipse i keep hearing people talk about some something about a diamond nope when a, i want to see a diamond i go to diamonds direct and hey i tell them hammer and nigel sent me but no i did not did uh, you, does that make sense allison see right. anything in the eclipse about that not at all Photos showing three hidden gems you missed from the total eclipse, and one was one was a diamond-shaped thing. I, this is the first I'm hearing yeah. of diamond. No, though. I was I was it's I was at the dentist this morning. My dentist, uh, Doctor Mitchell and Sheila, were talking to me about it. Allison, anything on diamonds? Have you ever heard of this before? Uh, I I didn't, but I did hear you could see Venus. At what about Uranus? Time. Did you see that? <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, that's every day here. here. The total solar eclipse was so eventful that you may have missed a few hidden gems while everyone was looking for the diamond ring. Other strange phenomena took place. Photos show the weird shadows, solar prominences, and views from space you probably missed. So you have to go back and look at some of these other videos. Dateline Florida, 
A woman in Florida shot at cars on the highway and blamed it on the eclipse. <laughs> she actually hit that's, two people, that's but awful. nobody died. Good. She connected with two people. She had just checked out of a hotel and told the staff she was going to go on a shooting spree because, quote, God told her to do it because of the eclipse. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's what God said. Now she's facing attempted murder charges. Hey, Debbie, <laughs> grab a gun and go on a shooting spree and blame it on the eclipse. God, is that you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I knew your name was Debbie. <laughs> Um, I'll give you one hint of what was the top search on Google yesterday, Nige. Something that was, uh, something tells me it wasn't the Eclipse Diamond. Quote, my eyes hurt was a top <laughs> trending Google search yesterday. I will say my eyes were a little, um, ached a little bit yesterday because even those glasses that those protective eyewear glasses that you wear, if you stare at any length of time, they just, my eyes felt heavy and kind of fatigued after we, I was done yesterday. Did Yours? you look up for more than three minutes with them on? Because you're only supposed to wear them in like three-minute uh, intervals. Not. <sighs> Nigel wore them all day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing them right now. Drove home with them on last <laughs> night. <laughs> your eyes didn't, your retinas don't, didn't feel any different? No. I remember the same feeling after 2017, after the partial eclipse. Allison, you, nothing? Uh, I was out there for the partial, and yeah. I, I did get a little bit of a headache, but I think yeah. I, it's just because I was squinting in general. Okay. Yeah, so that's the number one Google search yesterday, why my eyes hurt after the eclipse. Yes, my eyes hurt, why my eyes hurt. Is it normal for my eyes to hurt? All things that were the most popular things typed into Google. Now, of course, if you're Donald Trump and you stare right into the eclipse without your glasses on, <laughs> yes, your eyes are going to hurt. If you did stare directly at the eclipse, the Weather Channel posted a list of symptoms to look out for, like headaches, blurred vision, and a blind spot in one or both eyes. Well, that's not good. Jeez. You want blind spots. The good news is it usually resolves on its own, especially if you only peaked for a few seconds. But, again, if you pulled the full Donald Trump from the last time and just <laughs> stared straight up at it. He didn't immediately, immediately, as soon as he walked outdoors, footage of him just craning that neck, looking straight up at it. <laughs> now, I, I do think this is a little ridiculous. I think we're getting a little carried away. People have been claiming to have eclipse sickness, even though there's no evidence to support that this is a real thing. Reported symptoms range from insomnia, fatigue, no appetite. One woman claimed that her eclipse sickness knocked her off of her menstrual cycle. <laughs> how the hell? What? How, the eclipse was yesterday. How the hell does she know? What, uh, I have no idea. So many idea. questions. So many questions. I think people are just blaming the eclipse for everything. Now I'm addicted to heroin. Thanks, eclipse. <laughs> oh, I got knocked up last week. Eclipse. <laughs> the same thing Joe Biden does with Putin, like some of yeah. these people are doing it to the eclipse. Gas prices went up. <laughs> eclipse. Putin. 50-50 <laughs> could be either way. Uh, somebody that was not a fan of the eclipse was Charles Barkley. What? He was on the broadcast during the pregame for the uh, Purdue Connecticut game, the national championship, and the Chuckster, the round mound, was not a big fan of the eclipse. Well, y'all, some of them losers standing outside watching that today. They're not losers. Yes, they are. It, no, it doesn't, doesn't happen just, off hey, We've all seen darkness before. Stop it. No, <laughs> not, not in the daylight. Yeah, it's, no. Come on, man. Come <laughs> on, Chuckster. I didn't hate on the eclipse. So, you, so you're not a fan. You're not a fan uh, of the eclipse. Well, I'm not going to sit outside like an idiot and wait on the darkness. Did you not wait I on wait till, I could have waited. It's going to be dark when we go outside. Can, can I <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got to have a hot take. So the... Millions of people that drove to into Indianapolis, Charles Barkley thinks you're all losers. Right. There's always somebody that hates what everybody else likes. And we call them Rob Kendall. <laughs> it's the Hammer and Nigel show. Now is the perfect time for you to call the Bath Authority to get your project you've been putting off done this spring. Because the Bath Authority has an unbelievable deal going on. Call today at 317-532-5711. 
317-532-5711. Schedule your free in-home estimate and get $1,000 off a new shower or bath, plus 36 months of interest-free financing. That's right. All you got to do is call today at 317-532-5711. Schedule a free in-home estimate with the Bath Authority and get $1,000 off a new shower or bath plus 36 months of interest-free financing. Walk-in tubs, replacement showers, tub-to-shower conversions, and more. The Bath Authority does it all. 317-532-5711 for $1,000 off a new shower or bath plus 36 months of interest-free financing. The Bath Authority com tell them rob sent you hi honey mom i'm glad you figured out the video call what's all that noise oh that your room will soon be a fitness studio my room what yeah it's the home equity line of credit from lake city bank the low fixed rate is helping us get things checked off our list oh honey the hot tub is here the what mom use lake city bank's home equity line of credit for anything you need even hot tubs learn more at lakecitybank.com or visit a branch near you Subject to credit approval and equal housing lender. BrewerRemodeling.com, serving Central Indiana for 23 years. These are your kitchen and bathroom remodeling specialists. When you're ready to make the change, they're ready for you. It's a new year, so it's time to get it done. That kitchen, that heart of the home, the bathroom, a place where you can actually relax and build instant equity in your home. 317-852-5546 or online at Boer, B-O-O-H-E-R, BoerRemodeling.com. Attention seniors, you're invited to the grand opening of CenterWell Indy West. CenterWell offers primary care centered on seniors, so come celebrate on Thursday, April 18th at 5115 West Washington Street in Indianapolis from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Enjoy food, music, and more at this free community event. Plus, tour the new doctor's office and meet the care team. For details, call 317-754-7291 or visit Meet. CenterWellIndiana.com. We used to argue about whose turn it was to clean the gutters, but then I had Leaf Filter gutter protection installed. Wait, I told you Leaf Filter had free inspections and estimates and a lifetime guarantee. Meaning we never have to argue about whose turn it is to clean the gutters again. But I visited LeafFilter.com slash Beacon first. No, I did. It doesn't matter who. Visit LeafFilter.com slash Beacon to schedule your free gutter inspection and get up to 30% off today. See representative for warranty details. Promotion is 20% off plus a 10% senior or military discount. One discount per household. We all need a certain level of socialization to remain mentally sharp and healthy, especially when living with a life-altering diagnosis. This is Tina McIntosh, president of Joy's House and co-host of the Caregiver Crossing radio program. Coming up are suggestions that can help improve that loneliness your loved one may have. At Cardon Senior Living Communities, you'll find our teams share a commitment to enhancing the lifestyle and well-being of the people we serve every day at every stage of life. Create a routine that both you and your loved one can look forward to. Plan social activities and outings. They promote connection and reduce those feelings of isolation. Recruit your friends and family to participate. And if possible, use adult day centers to engage your loved one and give you that much needed break. More tips like this are available anytime at caregivercrossingradio.org. With new weekly content created by Joy's House and distributed in partnership with Network Indiana, we're an on-air and online support group for Hoosier family caregivers. Hear conversations with experts, access the library of online education, and more at caregivercrossingradio.org. Indy's leader in patio installation is now offering a new driveway package. Schedule a free estimate today at IndieDecorativeConcrete.com. That's IndieDecorativeConcrete.com. Go where the pros go. Drexel Interiors for Timberlake Kitchen and Bath Cabinets. Visit Drexel's new design center on 146th Street at River Road or on North Shadeland. DrexelIN.com. Matt, you worked like all day yesterday. Didn't have a break. You went from Tony's morning show through Rob and Casey, back to us through the afternoon. How did you feel when you got home? I kid you not, I felt amazing. I, I really did. Um, you know, the Purdue was playing, so that was exciting for the state. I had a good time doing the traffic. I mean, it was busy, but, yeah, it was a really good time. Time I mean, to go to bed, because usually you do the split shift. You do 6 to 9, you go home, take a nap, work out or whatever, and come back here at 3. But, you, like, you did, like, a 12, 13-hour shift. Did you go? Were you able to stay up for Purdue? 
Uh, yeah, I finally passed out about eleven o'clock. I stuck wow. with them. Yeah, I stuck with them the whole way. You know, it was you know, I, I, I well, I didn't graduate from Purdue, but you know, they, they kicked me out. But it was, <laughs> it was still, you know, it was part of the thing. It was a good time. The whole day was terrific. Good. You know, look at a southbound sixty-five seventy stop and go from the north split down to Washington Street. This is a crash coming up northbound thirty-seven before four sixty-five. A crash in this I sixty-nine construction zone blocking the left lane and jamming up traffic back to Edgewood Avenue eighteen minutes on the delay and now a crash in lauren southbound 465 at fall creek also left lane is blocked causing a backup 269 traffic sponsored by drexel interiors go with the pros go drexel interiors for timberlake kitchen and bath cabinets visit drexel's design centers at 146th street and river road or on north shadeland online at drexelin.com i'm matt bear follow us for instant traffic updates at wibc traffic all right, so the bad news is we might have rain every single day now through Friday. Come on. And Friday's low is 43 degrees. But the good news is Saturday, sunny and 71. Yeah. Sunday, sunny and 79. Nice. And then Monday, 79 again. We may even touch 80. Like to hear that at the American Standard Heating Weather Center. You're listening to the Hammer and Nigel Show. So coming up after 4 o'clock, you know, that they, they, they have a big Senate cafeteria in the Capitol building that had to be shut down earlier and cleared out. You'll never guess why. More details after 4 o'clock. Uh, my name's Nigel. That's Jason Hammer right over there. According to a study, the top signs your kid is spoiled. This is going to shock you. They include throwing tantrums when they don't get their way, always wanting more, Demanding things now, being a sore loser, and asking for bribes before they'll do stuff. You just described, I think I just described myself all in a... I was going to say AOC, but <laughs> yeah. Maybe you and uh, the socialist sure. sweetheart have a little bit more in common than you thought, Nige. I, I, I think my kids went through that phase at one point when they were younger, and Lindsay and I put a stop to that. Real right quick. I mean, I, Usually a smack to the mouth puts oh, a lot of demanding no, things pretty I quickly. I don't advocate for a smacking of the mouth. Why not? At all. No. Somebody gets lippy with you, you don't advocate smacking him in the no, mouth? I don't, I, I'm not smacking my kids in the face, no. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we do things differently. Uh, if you're looking for a reason to drink tonight, if you're looking to crack one open, happy 45th birthday to Keisha Knight Pulliam. She played the role of Rudy Huxtable. No way, Rudy's 45? Rudy is 45 years old. She's like a year younger than you are. She also was in the Medea Goes to Jail movie as the hooker with a heart of gold. <laughs> Don't I, I'm sorry I missed that one. Did you ever see the episode of The Cosby Show? I think they've removed it. Like, I'm not sure if Cosby's on streaming outlets or whatever, but I think they've taken this episode off of syndication reruns <laughs> in light of recent events where Rudy wasn't feeling well and Bill Cosby crushed up her medicine and put it in a drink and oh. gave it to her. Three chewable aspirin crushed. Just like mommy would crush them. Orange juice in the crushed aspirin, staring and smiling just like mommy. Boy, that is awkward considering what he was accused of. Right. Ultimately jailed for was, you know, putting sedatives in uh, victims' drinks and having them pass out. Take out that's... chewy aspirin, insert roofies, and that's what yeah. allegedly Bill was doing to chicks. And I got to admit, does it make me a horrible person that... The memes of Bill Cosby crack me up sometimes. <laughs> like, the last thing you see before you black out is like a blurry picture of oh, Bill Cosby. Gosh. Sometimes the internet can take a horrible thing and put a little smile on your face. Uh, there's a thread online where people are talking about their favorite insults that don't sound overly offensive. Like backhanded. Right. Like, if I tell yeah. you you're a fat ass, go to hell, that's over the top. That's well, offensive. Well, you say that every day. Yeah, I'm used to that. But if I were to look at you and go, well, you're really country strong, <laughs> that's a little different, although it means the same thing. Like, here's one. What an odd thing to say out loud. That's, <laughs> that's the polite way of saying you're a moron. <laughs> or this is good. that sounds like something you'd say. 
That's okay. fancy talk for you're always saying stupid yeah, crap. I think I've, yeah, people have come up to me before and told me things you say. Yeah, that's just hammer. That's something he'd say for sure. <laughs> I admire how you don't let your limitations affect your confidence. <laughs> <laughs> It's impossible to underestimate you. I think about that one a little bit. Right. That means you'll do pretty much anything. Like, just when you think you've reached the lowest level of being humiliated, eh, it's impossible to underestimate you. I've never heard this one. You're all mouth but no trousers. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? You have no marbles. <laughs> That's what that means. The um, the one I always hear is like you know in the South they say oh bless your heart, <laughs> right? That's not a that's not a positive thing to say. No, but it means you're a moron. When again, you're super again. naive or a moron. Yeah. Oh, bless your heart. I think 82 million people did vote for Joe Biden. <laughs> bless your heart. <laughs> uh, or when your teacher always handed your tests back when you were in school, yeah. but it was face down. <laughs> Got that a lot. Yeah, right. Because you don't want to flip it over and see what's on the other side. Do not go anywhere. We're having a lot of fun today. This is the Hammer and Nigel Show. What if you could build a six-figure retirement income with almost half the money saved? You heard that right. Get a discount on your retirement, creating a six-figure income with 40% less than traditional 401ks and mutual funds. Hi, I'm Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, executive producer, and star in a brand new Hollywood documentary called The Retirement Deception. In this film, we traveled over 20,000 miles interviewing real Americans who've retired successfully with a great lifestyle and peace of mind. They share their stories on how they get more retirement income with the same dollar saved, and the money's never at risk if the market crashes. That's right. If the market crashes 30%, you lose nothing. Even the super wealthy are shifting money to this new strategy because it increases their retirement income or can allow them to stop working years sooner. So if you're over 50 and want a bigger, better retirement with less money saved, call to talk to a specialist and get a free copy of this brand new movie at 800-486-9595. This is a $30 value, but when you call today, you can get it completely free. I'll even cover shipping and handling, no credit card required. Call right now, 1-800-486-9595. That's 1-800-486-9595. Again, that's 1-800-486-9595. Fellas, there's a lot of people talking about testosterone, but do your homework and go to a provider that you can trust. We recommend Low T Center to get your levels checked. At Low T Center, they make it quick and easy. You walk in and take a simple blood test, and you'll get your results back in about 25 minutes. If you've been feeling tired, grumpy, have noticed weight gain and loss of muscle mass, you may have low T levels. Go to LowTCenter.com and book your appointment online. That's LowTCenter.com. Low T Center, reinventing men's health care. Hi, it's Bob from Royal Spa. Soaking in a hot tub full of Epsom salts is the absolute best way to minimize everyday aches and pains. And we know all about Epsom salts at Royal Spa. Royal Spa hot tubs are the only hot tubs on the market that can safely and effectively use Epsom salts. Made right here in Indiana, Royal Spa hot tubs are the highest quality hot tubs on the market. Visit any one of our three Indianapolis locations or visit royalspa.com. Ah, Royal Spa. When it comes to your well, preventive maintenance is the key to reliable water. Right now, C&J is offering a comprehensive bacteria test for only $125, so you'll know if your well water is safe. But wait, there's more. For only $75 more, you can combine the bacteria test with C&J's annual six-point inspection for only $200. Wow! If it's been a while since you've cleaned the well, you can save $500 on that, too. C&J Well Company, they're local, they're exceptional, they're affordable. 317-852-WELL. Wealth Changing Question. Has your advisor created a portfolio based only on your age and risk tolerance? That's simply not good enough. Your money deserves better, and so do you. At Creative Planning, our private wealth managers learn about you first, and then they create a customized plan and portfolio by partnering with our in-house money managers, accountants, and attorneys. Don't settle for a standard portfolio. Book your free meeting today at creativeplanning.com. Creative Planning, a richer way to wealth. After suffering an injury, you may face many hard questions. What will tomorrow bring? Which firm should I choose to represent me and my family? At Morgan & Morgan, we will hold your hand every step of the way. From our one-click sign-up, mobile apps, and 24-7 availability, we make it easy to get your case started right from the comfort of your couch. All firms are not the same. Injured, the choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Are you a translator for your spouse? Are you the one always on the telephone because your husband or wife struggled to hear? 
you need to check out RelayIndiana.com and CapTel, the captioned telephone. The CapTel phone allows the hard of hearing person to enjoy conversations through voice recognition technology with the other person's words appearing on the easy to read screen. Go online to RelayIndiana.com for more information about CapTel and let your spouse enjoy their own phone calls. Visit RelayIndiana.com now. Coming up in two minutes, the charges a 17-year-old faces for a shooting downtown last month. IMPD says the first weekend with a curfew in place did its job and the chance for some rain tonight and maybe severe weather tomorrow. All that and more coming up after Fox News Radio from the Technology Recyclers Studios. You are listening to 93 WIBC, WIBC HD1 Indianapolis. It's 4 o'clock. President points a finger on Lisa Brady, Fox News. He's blaming extreme Republicans for an old abortion law that got a green light today in Arizona. The cruel abortion ban President Biden says was first enacted in 1864 before Arizona was even a state and well before women had the right to vote. In a statement responding to the state's Supreme Court ruling Arizona can enforce the long dormant law, the president says millions of Arizonans will live under an even more extreme and dangerous abortion ban, which fails to protect women when their health is at risk or they are victims of rape or incest. Fox's Jared Halpern at the White House. The law criminalizes all abortions except when a mother's life is at stake. The president calling again for Congress to restore abortion rights after former President Trump said this week it should be up to the states. The former president still trying to delay his first criminal trial set to begin Monday. He's accused of falsifying business records to hide hush money, payment, hush money payments. An appeals court judge rejecting a delay today as the fight over a gag order continues. The former president hopes to push back that start as he fights a gag order issued in March by trial judge Juan Merchant. The Manhattan DA's office requested it to counter what it said was the former president's history of disparaging statements about those involved in cases against him. Lawyers for former President Trump called the gag order unconstitutional. Fox's Colonel Scott, a full appellate court panel, is expected to rule on a delay before a Monday scheduled start of jury selection in New York. A just-released state audit says California spent $24 billion aiming to tackle homelessness over the past five years, but did not consistently track whether that money improved the situation. The audit finds just two of the 30 homeless programs funded by the state are likely cost-effective. A mixed finish on Wall Street, the Dow down about nine points at the bell. America's listening to Fox News. 93 WIBC Mobile News. On the level, on the go. A couple of charges for a teenager. 71 degrees, mostly cloudy in downtown Indianapolis. All clear on the radar. Low temperatures to the 50s tonight. I'm Harrison Silcox. Here's what's trending at 402. Two counts of criminal recklessness have been filed against a teenager in Indianapolis. Both of those counts are felonies. I'm Chon Herrick. On Tuesday morning, the Marion County Prosecutor's Office identified that teenager as King Dennis. Even though he's 17, they believe several things, including his criminal history, require him to face face felony charges as an adult. IMPD is still reviewing surveillance video and there could be more arrests. The shooting injured seven kids between the ages of 12 and 16 on March 30th in downtown Indy at the corner of Illinois and Maryland streets. John Herrick, 93 WIBC Mobile News. That shooting's why IMPD began enforcing a curfew in downtown Indianapolis. There were no violations last weekend. We want our youth and everyone to be able to come and visit downtown and visit all parts of our city. We want that to happen in a responsible way. IMPD Lieutenant Shane Foley, he says that curfew will stay in place until you hear otherwise. Someone's dead after a shooting near an apartment complex on the northeast side around 1.30 this afternoon, says IMPD. The person was found near the Arborstone Apartments. Police believe the victim and suspect knew each other at arrest has not been reported yet. Raju Chental says he's running to represent Indiana's 5th Congressional District to fix politics in Washington, especially when it comes to Social Security. The problem with both the parties and both uh, sides is 
fighting each other, not getting anything done in the last 24 years. I he think. told WIBC's Tony Katz he would like to increase their retirement age because people are living longer. He says that longevity in life is putting a strain in the government's Social Security budget. A few inches of rain are possible tomorrow and also tonight is when that rain could start, says Joe Neal with the National Weather Service. Late today into tonight, uh, we'll have uh, some showers and a few thunderstorms. Uh, could produce some locally heavy rainfall, but not really uh, anything that we're super concerned about. Severe weather is possible east of Indianapolis tomorrow. Traffic and weather in 60 seconds. It's 404. Come on, Andy. Don't use the spring to paint your house year after year. Do what Deanna did. She called Ryan. No shield. I was noticing some cracks and the paint faded. And I was like, okay, I think I should get my house painted. So my neighbor had a rhino shield placard in the yard. And after they were finished, I was just, wow, with the warranty and everything, it just seemed silly not to go that route. The ceramic coating of rhino shield is specifically formulated for our climate. So the rhino shield crew came out. Nothing was damaged in the process. I was very happy. They just didn't leave a mess. You couldn't even tell they were there. And the house looked so different. It just looked like a new home. Backed by a 25 year trip transferable warranty and now get the protection of rhino shield for 15 percent off the regular price rhino shield i think it increases the value and the curb appeal of your home definitely worth it here's rhino shield shane smith this offer is limited so call me at 888 rhino 41 that's 888 rhino 41 don't paint don't vinyl go rhino never paint your house again rhino shield with traffic on the fives at 405, here's Matt Bear. All right, Harrison, looking at the northeast side, southbound 465, crash at Fall Creek, left lane block, traffic stop and go back to Keystone Avenue. Eastbound 465 at Ditch, that's for Meridian 31, that's a crash. It's over on the right shoulder right now, causing stop and go traffic back to Michigan Road. South side, a crash in the I-69 construction zone. It's northbound 37 Harding before 465 blocking the left lane and causing stop traffic back to Edgewood Avenue. Traffic sponsored by Cracker Barrel. It pays to be early because of Cracker Barrel, you can get early dinner deals on their signature dishes weekdays from 4 to 6 p.m. starting at just $8.99. I'm Matt Bear. Follow us for instant traffic updates at WIBC Traffic. And the forecast from the American Standard Heating Weather Center. Sky showers and a few storms tonight into Wednesday morning with lows in the low 50s. Then we'll see more widespread rain and storms Wednesday afternoon to Wednesday night and Thursday. Highs on Wednesday will struggle to get into the mid-60s. I'm Wish TV Storm Track 8 meteorologist Stephen Deanna for 93 WIBC. I'm Harrison Silcox on the level on the go and on WIBC.com. Hammer and Nigel. Can you believe these characters are weirdos? So let's rock it. You know, Hammer, they got the, the big... Senate cafeteria there at the Capitol building in D.C., and they had to shut it down today during um, during what, I, what was a large protest by pro-Hamas protesters in the cafeteria. They made their way in, and they were chanting, uh, Senate can't eat until Gaza eats, and people are dying in Gaza. People are dying in Gaza. Where's the blame for hamas and all this right but like where is release the, you know where's the demand for the hostages to be released this would all end today if hamas gave up control and released the hostages they won't do it no i mean they, they use the hostages for human shields that's why that's half the reason why innocent people are dying and hamas violated a ceasefire for all these people wanting a ceasefire hamas violated that when they came in on paragliders and murdered people at a concert and then went through the neighborhood and bludgeoned men, women, and children and took hostages. That all took place during a ceasefire. And, 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 and bludgeoned and murder are very generous words right, for what they did to those people. And now it's, you know, war is war. I'm not saying I like it, but it's it's ugly. It's gross, and it's Hamas's fault. And they're leaders, by the way, billionaires living in Qatar, that are that are kind of running this whole thing it's I just the day after october 7th happened last year i mean there were people pro palestinian pro gaza pro hamas people celebrating in the streets even here pro and then when that war started when israel started going in there and kicking ass <laughs> look man where are the anti hamas people at where are those demonstrators at and Hamas is the elected 
political party there. So it's not like they just came in, murdered people, and took control. That's the elected political party. So, yeah, I'm surprised this isn't a bigger story because had this been folks wearing a red baseball hat. Oh, please, yeah. That stormed in there and said, we want election laws now. AOC would be under her desk like a block away saying my life is threatened. Yeah, how do these people get into the Senate cafeteria? Does that make, like, can you just walk in there? Don't you have to have some sort of pass to get in some of these places where some of the most powerful people in the world are having their lunch? They just said, I'm with Nadler. <laughs> Oh, okay, well, he's here a lot. Come on in. <laughs> Old Nads, yeah, he has a lot of guests come in to eat. Oh, is he at the salad bar? No, 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 no we never see him at the salad bar. Good he's... one. Got me there. Uh, we've got some pretty horrifying oh. legal stuff. Crime, punishment, judges, legal stuff. The FBI has arrested an 18-year-old in Idaho after uncovering his horrific and violent plot to attack churches in Idaho. Now, this is from the Justice Department. This 18-year-old wow. wanted to do violent attacks on churches on behalf of ISIS. Alexander Mercurio, now facing a federal charge of attempting to provide material support or resources to a designated foreign terrorist organization, ISIS, after the FBI say he came up with this plan to basically hold down his father using handcuffs and tie him down, steal his firearms, and then wanted to go to multiple churches for mass casualty attacks. Well, we've seen churches and synagogues attacked in this country before. It's not unprecedented, but now it's kind of a new thing happening where millions of people are being... I'm not saying this person specifically was... Is a, some sort of illegal immigrant, what I'm saying is the ideology that we're seeing, like we were just talking about with the pro-Hamas protesters, and is is prevalent. I'm glad the FBI is doing their job. I wonder how many more of these types of plans are there going on right now, Hammer. And this is why I'm a big believer in taking your legal weapon to your place of worship because you never know when ass hats like this guy are going to try to barge in because he thinks it's a soft target, right? Bad guys think churches and schools are soft targets. But you got to start packing, man. I hate that it has to be that way, but there are too many crazy bastards out there. Definitely between the two churches that I semi-regularly attend, Traders Point there um, near Whitestown and College Park, uh, 96 in town, there's definitely a police presence there. I mean, I see... A, I see, obviously, police cars are there standing, you know, parked right out front. But I kind of, I notice guys with little ear, you know, ear pieces. Right. With the uh, with the tube hanging down, you know. Sure. Just kind of just kind of looking around, you know. I kind of see it sometimes. I, I don't know exactly what their protocols are, but I just kind of noticed. And there's some uniformed police officers that I see, too. So there's definitely a presence in some churches. And as a citizen, you know, you've sure, got the sure. right to take your legal firearm, yeah. you know, in your jacket, in your holder, whatever you want. But there are people that are Republicans, even, that don't want you to be able to do that. Like Jefferson Shreve ran <laughs> his mayoral campaign as a gun-grabbing Republican. So when you hear stories like this, like from Idaho, what this guy wanted to do to a church, just remember... Who's on your side and who's not? Uh, FBI Director Christopher Wray put out a statement, quote, the defendant allegedly pledged loyalty to ISIS and sought to attack people attending churches in Idaho, a truly horrific plan which was detected and thwarted by the FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force. And again, I'm not saying this specific situation has to do with, with what's going on at the border, but there are people currently trying to cross into the border that are on the terrorist watch list. Uh, the Border Patrol has apprehended hundreds and hundreds of people on the terrorist watch list. Why were they trying to get into this country, Hammer? That's a pretty simple question, I right. think. Hey, do you want to hear a deranged lunatic, Nige? <laughs> you want to hear somebody completely it. just Come off on. their rocker? Give with it to me. The old TDS, the Trump derangement syndrome. Actress Jennifer Lewis 
who is a cast member on the ABC show Blackish. She was on some interview, and boy, you talk about Trump derangement syndrome. Take a listen to this. As soon as he takes the oath, he will have generals walk down the steps of the Capitol. He will take a hammer and break the glass where the Constitution is, and he will tear it up in our faces mm. and say, now, I'm the king of the fucking world. You will bow down, bitches. He will punish everybody that didn't vote for him. Let me tell y'all how I know this shit. I know it because I oh. know what mental illness looks like. <laughs> I'm that listening to it right now. It's unstoppable. <laughs> See, this motherfucker is Hitler. Oh, Hitler. There it there is. There it is. Uh, you know, that sometimes you like the new material, but you like to hear the hits. Yeah, once in a while. I was wondering when she was going to break out with the Hitler. I don't know who this lunatic is. I don't care. But yeah, you're right. I, I know what mental illness looks like. <laughs> Listen to it next clip. <laughs> So he's going to storm down there with a hammer, <laughs> smash the glass. First of all, the the glass protecting the Constitution, I doubt, can be penetrated with a hammer. Right. You probably can't even get at it with an AR-15. And it's probably, you know, not something that uh, is on Donald Trump's inauguration rundown list. Now, after I swear in, <laughs> I'm going to walk down the stairs. I'm going to rip up the Constitution. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these people, like you thought some of these celebrities would be over it by now. But as this election ramps up, more and more people have Trump derangement syndrome, yeah. which thank God for Hammer and Nigel Pharmaceuticals. Are you angry all the time? Do you feel violent when you see the president? I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. <laughs> it could be that you have a burning case of Trump derangement syndrome. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Trump derangement syndrome is a real thing for most millennials and uneducated celebrities. Symptoms of Trump <laughs> derangement syndrome include saying the following things. He's not my president. He didn't win the pop popular vote. That's it. We're heading to World War III. <laughs> to help combat Trump derangement syndrome and help keep your panties from getting into a wad or a bunch, Hammer and Nigel Pharmaceuticals have launched an all-new pill. It's called the Super Helpful Unwadding Trousers Unwinding Pill. Or you could just use the acronym SHUT UP. Nine out of ten doctors agree that a big dose of SHUT UP is the first step to recovery from Trump derangement syndrome. Uh -huh. Ask your doctor if shut up is the best approach for you. <laughs> Side effects of shut up may include the understanding that your feelings don't matter, a basic understanding of jobs in the economy, nonsensical and misspelled tweets coming to you at all hours of the night and the day. Confetti. Shut up. <laughs> now available from Hammer and Nigel Pharmaceuticals. Hey! hey. <laughs> Matt Bear's got a look at the roads. All right, Hammer, Lawrence South. 65 crash clear fall creek still stop and go back to keystone avenue inbound 69 also slowing down because of that earlier crash from 96 to 465 that traffic is still there looking to southbound 65 stop and go from 29th to meridian pen eastbound as 70 drags into downtown before belmont to meridian illinois crash in the 69 construction zone is northbound uh, 37 at thompson road that has us backed up to empler and then looking at a crash it is on the entrance ramp from crawfordsville road to northbound 465 the ramp is open partially blocked traffic sponsored by invisiblefence.com don't get stuck gearing up for spring while everyone else is enjoying the warm weather invisible fence brand works in any season giving your pet the freedom they deserve now visit invisible Fence.com to learn more. I'm Matt Bear. Follow us for instant traffic updates at WIBC Traffic. Again, coming up a little bit after 5 o'clock, we will have ticket information for our Tales from the Track event that we are hosting. And, man, this is a big get this year. I'm excited for this one. That's coming up a little bit after 5 o'clock. But up next, a spirited round of Is This Anything? It's 71 at the American Standard Heating Weather Center on the Hammer and Nigel Show. Rise you, rise you, shades of red, white, and blue. Guarding dreams for all, he believes in you. Raju Chinthala is a healthcare professional, a successful businessman 
and a community leader with experience. Raju is ready to be your next congressman in the 5th District. Raju for you. Raju, Raju, shades of red, white, and blue. Raju is a family man ready to represent your family with Hoosier values. And he's a man of action, ready to get things done. Vote for Raju Chinthala, Republican 5th District Congress. Raju, Raju, shades of red, white, and blue. Guarding dreams for all, he believes in you. I'm Raju Chinthala, and I approve this message. Paid for by Raju for Congress. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA. And go to gawon'twait.com. Guys, when she's ready, shouldn't you be ready too? There's good news. For 20 years, Boston Medical Group has delivered a simple and effective solution for ED, proven to work when all else has failed. It's ICP, also known as ED Shots. ICP uses a custom blend of FDA-approved medications specifically formulated to restore healthy blood flow where you need it most. ICP works for 98% of men in just a few minutes, regardless of age or medical conditions. Previously acquired only by an in-person visit, our telemedicine platform now brings this virtually 100% effective solution to your doorstep nationwide. You can be ready for her with confidence. Call 800-940-2900. The first 100 patients will receive 10 extra doses of ICP medication for free when you sign up for treatment program today. Call 800-940-2900. That's 800-940-2900. Or visit bostonmedicalgroup.com. Working full-time and raising three kids ages four to eight means my spouse and I are constantly running from one thing to the next. Having before school and after school care for my kids at IPS has made it so much easier for us to coordinate. Every IPS student enrolled in pre-K through grade five has access to enrichment programs provided through neighborhood organizations like YMCA, Boys and Girls Club, and at your school. The best part, transportation is free. Choose your IPS today at myips.org. This ad was paid for by Indianapolis Public Schools. Did you know if you have water, storm, or fire damage, the first step is on you? Yikes. It's your responsibility to mitigate damages. Mitigate? Yeah, that's a fancy word for call Michelis. They'll take it from there, from boarding up, cleaning up, and fixing up, to getting you squared up with your insurance company, which is a whole other mess you can avoid. Make it Michelis. Call 844-FIX-INDY. Hammer and Nigel presents... It depends upon what the meaning of the word is. Yes. Is this anything? All right, let's rock and roll. Hammer. Yeah, we, we know how to play this anyway. Just, just kick us off here. During the total eclipse yesterday, Chief Meteorologist David Hartman got really emotional and excited while describing it on live television from Dallas, Texas. Now, I've got a piece of audio here. Right. I'm going to play you the emotional meteorologist from Texas, but I also may have put a little Pink Floyd music oh, on it. Okay. Well, we are almost <laughs> to totality here. The skies have cleared off. I'm going to get emotional. This is just unbelievable. And we're just about to totality here in the next minute. We're looking for the diamond ring. Here we go. It's just about to go total. Look for the... Look for the diamond ring. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There it is. That's the diamond ring right there. Look at the diamond ring. Spectacular. Oh, look there. There's a small cloud, and you see a halo. 
Look at that at the diamond ring. It's still, you can still see the diamond ring. Unbelievable. Oh and there it is. <laughs> The corona of the sun. That's the sun's atmosphere. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, look, I mean, it was an amazing moment. I look at that moment yesterday where the, the earth and the moon and the sun all are aligned, and I'm thinking, oh, my goodness, how can people not believe there is a higher power in this universe? Because that just doesn't happen with the Big Bang. I understand this guy's emotion. I didn't get that emotional. I was stunned, but I do understand that the, there is there is a spiritual side here. People, I mean, think that's the, that's a sign from God somehow. I, I get it. I get the emotion. And this guy works for uh, WAPT in Jackson, Mississippi, but was live uh, for the event in Dallas. Okay. And, and so, meanwhile, listen, that was fine and everything, but the double rainbow guy said, "Hold my beer." Oh, oh my God! Woo! <laughs> Remember this guy? Yes. The double rainbow? Woo! Yeah! <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Look at that. It's starting to even look like a triple rainbow. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, you can cut it off. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Indy had a double rainbow last Friday. Really? We were sitting outside at the baseball game, and it was a little light drizzle coming down, but the sun was shining. And at Victory Field over downtown, there was a rainbow. Then over the top of it, there was another was, one. Was your reaction similar to the double rainbow guy? Oh, a double rainbow! I looked at the kids and said, well, that's cool. <laughs> now, now, because, Hammer, there was, <laughs> there was a solar eclipse yesterday, a big buildup to this. For weeks and weeks and weeks, we've been talking about this moment yesterday, a huge buildup. Followed by a few minutes of of just totally am amazing um, viewing for this eclipse, and then it's over, and it's like people are looking around and like, well, now what do we do? And so they're like actually <laughs> right. feeling blue because this, there's science to back this up. Now, lucky for you that are feeling blue after the huge emotional moment of that uh, total eclipse yesterday. There's help from Hammer and Nigel Health Services. Oh. Does seeing the sun today leave you feeling depressed? You may be suffering from post-eclipse letdown disorder, a condition that affects anyone who enjoyed yesterday's sudden darkness. Fortunately, there's a cure. Introducing your eyelids. Thanks to these two pieces of skin, you can have darkness wherever you are, whenever you want. Just close your eyes and voila, it's your own personal eclipse. Sometimes they'll close on their own for a surprise eclipse. Like when you watch golf on TV. Or listen to your spouse gripe about work. <laughs> your eyelids. Don't let the sun bring you down. New from Hammer and Nigel Health Services. So on the subject of the eclipse and wacky weather guys, the goat of wacky weather guys is this guy in Houston who always tries to mix in song lyrics during his forecasts from time to time. Oh, yeah. We've yeah. played some of them before. He's done like Dave Matthews Band and Taylor Swift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here he is Let doing an eclipse version. Uh. Mostly cloudy skies during the eclipse. Could it turn around? Every now and then the forecast changes, but I think this time we're pretty locked in. Clouds and rain coming, which includes for Monday the eclipse day. This week, every now and then, I get a little bit tired of uh, bumming people out with this news I've had to deliver. Starting off our Friday morning with I bright skies, bright eyes. But turn around, bright eyes, and take a look All at our right. forecast here for the eclipse. Many areas that will be mostly cloudy. Now, every now and then, clouds fall apart under mostly cloudy conditions where you might have a little window where you can see something. Forever is going to start tonight. Tonight, as those clouds begin to move on in, I know a lot of us have had our hearts set on seeing that eclipse. There's nothing I can do. Total eclipse of the heart. Nah, there's nothing. <laughs> I'm kind of <laughs> over that guy. Yeah. I couldn't even really understand the weather forecast. Right. Like I, that got lost in all the... Uh, what if you're somebody was, that really needs the forecast and you got this jag off <laughs> up there trying to do American Idol? Total eclipse of the heart, I'm assuming. Bobby yes. Tyler is what those, those were the lyrics he was... Um, in, infusing there with that broadcast no you, thanks you think marcus bailey could beat him up <laughs> oh yeah i do too sure he could take him i'd like to say that <laughs> it's the hammer and nigel show did you know that april is foot health awareness month hi this is phoebe and at the good feet store we think every month you should be aware of your foot health 
Your feet support everything you do. Why wouldn't you want to properly support your feet in return? Foot Health starts with having great support in your shoes. And with a selection of over 300 different styles and sizes of arch supports, we can help you get back to wearing your nice dress shoes, stylish flats, or even sandals in comfort. Listen to Ava's real good feet story. I love shoes. You find them in the store, you know, they like call you, but they hurt. The best ones hurt the worst. And you're walking around going, I don't want anyone to know that I'm not happy stuck in the arch supports and I felt so much better. I'd say good feet help with all of my great shoes. They turned out to be something that actually works for me. My name is Ava and that's my good feet story. Don't overlook your feet. Make sure they get the care and attention they need so they can keep supporting you. Find the good feet store nearest you at goodfeet.com. We look forward to helping you find better foot health. Attention seniors, you're invited to the grand opening of Centerwell Pendleton Pike. Centerwell offers primary care centered on seniors. So so come celebrate on Wednesday, April 10th at 8101 Pendleton Pike, Sweet E in Indianapolis from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Enjoy food, music, and more at this free community event. Plus, tour the new doctor's office and meet the care team. For details, call 317-648-5581 or visit meetcenterwellindiana.com. Just Capital is a nonprofit that tracks which companies are a force for good. Companies like Bank of America, which just earned the Just Capital seal. Bank of America is ranked number one for ongoing commitment to their workers with initiatives like Sharing Success, which awarded 97% of their teammates additional compensation, nearly all in stock. This is the program's seventh consecutive year, awarding more than $4.8 billion in total. Visit JustCapital.com to learn how a just business is a better business. Furnished by Just Capital. Welcome to Tire Discounters. Oh, hiya, Phantom. Mike, you may be in big trouble with Chip Wood. Our owner? Free oil changes along with alignment? On any four-tire purchase. Michelin's up to 200 off? Yeah, sorry, Mike, but I'm telling. But the Wood family is behind all this. Oh, those rascals. But don't tell the accountants. Of course not. And what do they do again? Buy any set of four tires at Tire Discounters and get a free alignment and oil change. Make the Michelin's and save up to 200 more. See store for details. 93 WIPC Mobile News. On the level. On the go. So far, so good. Cloudy 70 degrees in downtown Indianapolis. Your radar's clear with rain possible tonight. Low of 52 as well. I'm Harrison Silcox. Here's what's trending at 431. There were no problems with the downtown curfew last weekend, says IMPD. Lieutenant Shane Foley says they just want to keep the city safe. We want our youth and everyone to be able to come and visit downtown and visit all parts of our city. We want that to happen in a responsible way. Police started enforcing the curfew after a shooting hurt seven kids last month. 17-year-old King Dennis has been arrested in that shooting. He was taken into custody last Friday. The Marion County Prosecutor's Office says he's being charged with two counts of criminal recklessness and dangerous possession of a firearm. Anti-Israeli protesters were removed from the U.S. Senate cafeteria this morning. The chance were the Senate can't eat until the Gaza eats. Police were able to clear everyone out. A few arrests were made as well. President Biden announced a new plan to forgive student loan debt for more than 30 million Americans yesterday. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer called it great news for everyone. For too long, the debt has held back borrowers from reaching the middle class. President Biden's giving them a chance to achieve their dream. And the White House says borrowers could start to see the amount and interest they owe drop as early as this fall. Republicans say the plan isn't fair to millions of other Americans who won't be getting relief. Two semi-truck drivers now in custody after a road rage incident went down Saturday on I-65 near the Henryville exit. State police say both men started brake checking each other before pulling over at a rest stop. One driver uh, was stabbed. Uh, and was flown to University Hospital in Louisville for uh, those injuries. He was later released from the hospital, says State Police Sergeant Kerry Halls. If you saw the fights, police would appreciate a call. In a mixed day on the market, the Dow was down by just nine points to 38,883. The Nasdaq increasing by 52 to finish at 16,306. And the S&P 500 up by 7 to 5,209. Traffic and weather in one minute. Your time is 433. A house isn't a home without a little wear and tear, spilled milk, or muddy paws. But don't just clean it, quick shine it. 
Hey, Pat Sullivan here for Quick Shine Finishes and Cleaners with some Floor Care 101 tips. First, no matter the surface type, be sure to remove dust and debris. Avoid heavy chemicals or all-purpose liquids as they can damage the sealant layer or leave an oily residue. Now, to best clean and protect your floors at a modest price, don't just clean it, Quick Shine it. Quick Shine Finishes and Cleaners use ingredients that make it better for kids, pets and the environment with an EPA Safer Choice certification. And QuickShine has a full line of products to treat any surface, including their floor cleaner, floor finisher, and hardwood floor luster. I use it on my own floors. Made right here in central Indiana for over 60 years by Holloway House, a family-owned company. QuickShine Finishes and Cleaners is available at retailers everywhere. The traffic at 434. Here's Matt Bear. All right, Harrison, eastbound 465 on the north side there, fishing a vehicle out of a ditch right now. And the right shoulder is blocked at ditch road. That's causing stop-and-go traffic. Back to 865. Also slowing down the northbound lanes from 86 on up. A crash on the entrance ramp from Crawfordsville Road to northbound 465 on the west side. Also, coming in from the west side, eastbound 70, stop-and-go from Harding to Meridian, Illinois, to downtown. Again, southbound 65, slow roll, 29. 9th to a Meridian Pen. On the east side, Lawrence southbound 465 crash clear. Southbound 69 still drags a little bit because of that crash from 96 to 82nd. Traffic sponsored by Drexel Interiors. Go where the pros go. Drexel Interiors for Timberlake Kitchen and Bath Cabinets. Visit Drexel Design Centers at 146th Street and River Road on North Shadeland. Online at DrexelIN.com. I'm Matt Bear. Follow us for instant traffic updates at WIBC Traffic. And the forecast from the American Standard Heating Weather Center. Sky showers and a few storms tonight into Wednesday morning with lows in the low 50s. Then we'll see more widespread rain and storms Wednesday afternoon to Wednesday night and Thursday. Highs on Wednesday will struggle to get into the mid-60s. On Wish TV, Storm Track 8 meteorologist Stephen Deanna for 93 WIBC. I'm Harrison Silcox. On the level, on the go, and on WIBC.com. From my heart and from my hand, why don't people understand my intention? You're listening to the Hammer and Nigel Show. Hammer Science is taught by Sonny Hostin on The View. Would you like to hear um, her thoughts on the eclipse and why it happened? I would love to. Sonny Hostin, The View, claims the eclipse yesterday happened because of <clears throat> climate change. Leaving, we've got a solar eclipse. Uh, we've she got the earthquake. Down the she ran down the hallway. <laughs> the rapture is here. The rapture's here. And then also, I learned that the cicadas are coming. Cicadas. Cicadas. Oh, I love for the, the first time in cicada. like no, no, hundred no, no, years. No, 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 no
because her big thing is reparations and you know those families should have to pay everybody sure turns out she's from those families whoops so my question to you nige who's taking more losses right now the washington generals or sunny hostin <laughs> The Washington Generals, the team that oh, plays no. against the Harlem Globetrotters, yes. or Sonny Hostin. Who takes more and L's? We're neck and neck right now, I think. We've got uh, even more weird science. Uh, what's this, sir? Drag it. Drag it. Democrat Representative Sheila Jackson Lee. She thinks the moon is made out of gas, <laughs> and the sun is almost too hot to get close to. Sometimes you need to take the opportunity just to come out and see a full moon is that complete rounded circle, which is made up mostly of gases. What? And that's why the question, the question is why or how could we as humans live on the moon? Are the gases such that we could do that? The sun <laughs> is a mighty powerful heat. It is almost impossible to go near the sun. Almost. The moon is more manageable. And you will see uh, in a moment, or not a moment, you'll see in a couple of years that NASA is going back to the moon. She makes laws for this country. She gets government money. We're paying for her. She got elected. Yes. And at one point, she sat on the House Science Committee and the House Space Committee, and she thinks the moon is made out of gas. <laughs> she thinks the moon's made out of gas, and that oh, it's oh boy, that's almost too hot to get to the sun. That was cringeworthy. Almost, Man. like maybe if you wear a pair of shorts and put sunscreen on, you'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> this S idiot. You, you want SPF 100, right? You, you want get, you yeah. want the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This idiot should give hope. To anybody getting in the world of politics, anybody could be in Congress. It doesn't matter if you're brain dead. It doesn't matter if you're a moron. Anybody could be an elected official if you really put your mind to it, <sighs> including the woman that used to sit on the science committee and the NASA committee saying that the moon is made out of gas and it's almost too hot to get close to the sun. Thank you for that. Now, I'm not going to twist myself into a pretzel trying to interpret what she was talking about, but did, did she mean the moon? Did she mean some other planet? Did she mean the sun? I'm just going to take her at her word at this point because I have no idea. I am just going to chalk it up to her being a moron, <laughs> and she has no idea what she's okay. talking about. All right. All right. Fair enough. Uh, Fair Allison, enough. can I get some mood music, please? You got to know. If I go missing for a month later on this year, I want you guys to know why. It means I got this job. Casino.org is hiring a cruise casino tester. Oh, shut up. Your office, if you will, would be the huge casino on the brand new Sun Princess Cruise Line. 9,000 square feet, 227 slot machines, 13 table games, and not only would your room be free, you'll get $500 to spend however you want on the cruise along the way and another 500 bucks to gamble. Your only job requirement is to rate the casino on a scale of 0 to 10 in a number of different areas. That'd be, that'd be killer. Right? We have 500 100, 100. No, five hundred dollars doesn't strike me as a lot of money to go gambling with. No, uh, I could a, burn through that yeah. in a couple of hours. <laughs> I better go on a heater on that blackjack table to make that money last a little longer. Uh, cru are you cruise guy? Do you ever been? Ever been I have on never one? been on a cruise. Uh, neither, neither have I. I'd love to go on. The only way I feel like I'm going to see the other parts of this world is if I go on some sort of, you know. Uh, Mediterranean type cruise where you stop at a bunch of different places, get off the boat, and go see. Um, uh, you know, they, they, uh, my buddy went on an Alaskan cruise, said it was awesome. Our boss, um, David Wood, yeah, he's he a cruise guy. But then I just read, read uh, a couple of weeks ago that, you know, sometimes these cruise ships, good Lord, like a case of norovirus breaks out and the entire ship gets sick. Hundreds right. and hundreds of people. That's what I'd be scared of. But whatever. Yeah, I, this sounds like a cool gig, but you're right. 
500 bucks to spend however you want and 500 bucks to gamble on. As Smokey and Friday said, this ain't enough. <laughs> this ain't enough. All right, let's open up the gates of hell, Nige. Huh? Let's do some caller roulette where you call oh, in no. and whatever you want to talk about, we'll talk about. If you want to talk about how Judge Stoner is the worst judge in the county, we can do that. If you want to talk about the eclipse, you can do that. If you want to talk about Matt Bear or Allison or Rob Kendall or Nigel or myself, if you want to sing our praises or rip us, we can do that. 239-9393. That's the number. Maybe you want to see Tony Katz get on a ladder. I don't know. <laughs> Anything goes. 239 239- 9393 93. Allison will get your name and all we ask is you don't swear and you keep it brief. Other than that, it's about to be the wild wild west up in this thing. Call a roulette coming up next. You got to love low T center because it's not your typical doctor's office, right? It's concierge medicine for men specifically. Their physicians specialize in treating low testosterone with customized treatments for each patient fellas so if you have been tired and grumpy and noticed a lack of motivation and drive have weight gain and loss of muscle mass these could all be signs of low testosterone levels at the low t center they make it easy just a simple blood test on site you'll get your results back in about 25 minutes and right now at a low t center near you it's only 25 bucks to get your T-level tested, and you get your results back in about 25 minutes. And at the Low T-Center, they screen you for so many things, not just testosterone. They can screen you for cancers, sleep apnea, and the best part, most health insurance is accepted. So book your appointment right now, LowTCenter.com. That's LowTCenter.com. Low T-Center, reinventing men's health care. Retirement. When you picture your retirement, what do you see? Travel, relaxation, hobbies, more time with the people you love, or are you met with uncertainty and concern? Whatever emotion the word retirement conjures up for you, Howard Bailey Financial is ready to help. Our financial advisors are not just experts in retirement strategies. They are your partners in crafting a personalized retirement plan that aligns with your dreams and aspirations. At Howard Bailey, we prioritize one thing above all else, your peace of mind. Don't leave your retirement planning to chance. Instead, call 866-482-9559 now to schedule your personal financial review and see how Howard Bailey can help give you confidence in your retirement goals. Again, call 866-482-9559. This endorsement was not provided by a client of Howard Bailey. This individual was compensated for this endorsement. For more information, visit howardbailey.com slash TS1. Kate here from Baths R Us with the three biggest problems people always have with bathroom remodelers and how Baths R Us overcomes them all. First, it takes too long. Everyone's heard the horror stories of jobs that drag on for weeks or months. But at Baths R Us, we're in and out in two or three days, and it looks stunning. Problem number two, the final bill is more than the original estimate. Baths R Us doesn't give estimates. We give ironclad quotes. We remodel over 1,500 bathrooms a year. You can be confident there will be no last-minute surprises. And problem number three, they don't do the job right. Baths R Us only hires master craftsmen who are trained and certified and who use the highest quality materials. That's why we're proud to offer our No Regrets Promise, your personal guarantee that you'll love your new bathroom. Call right now and get $1,500 off plus low to no monthly payments. Our number is 317-886-1761 or online at bathsrus.com. That's bathsrus.com. This year, your home improvement experts with B-Window are partnering with Sullivan Hardware and Garden to help beautify your home. We're proud to partner with B-Window, offering lifetime warranties, quality products, and exceptional customer service. Now offering 50% off all products, plus 20 months, no interest, no payments. And for a limited time, Sullivan Hardware and Garden will add a $500 gift card for all qualified projects completed with B. Join our partnership. Call now or go to bwindow.com. Are you a translator for your spouse? Are you the one always on the telephone because your husband or wife struggled to hear? 
you need to check out RelayIndiana.com and CapTel, the captioned telephone. The CapTel phone allows the hard of hearing person to enjoy conversations through voice recognition technology with the other person's words appearing on the easy to read screen. Go online to RelayIndiana.com for more information about CapTel and let your spouse enjoy their own phone calls. Visit RelayIndiana.com now. Indy's leader in patio installation is now offering a new driveway package. Schedule a free estimate today at IndyDecorativeConcrete.com. That's IndyDecorativeConcrete.com. Plumbing problems stink. The L.D. Smith crew can handle anything. Call today for $50 off any plumbing repair, big or small. L.D. Smith Plumbing. A dirty stinking honest. Go where the pros go. Drexel Interiors for Timberlake Kitchen and Bath Cabinets. Visit Drexel's new design center on 146th Street at River Road or on North Shadeland. DrexelIN.com. You want to listen all day to WIPC, but you don't always have time. Don't worry. There's a podcast for that. The WIPC Mashup. Daily highlights from your favorite hosts, Tony Katz, Kendall and Casey, and Hammer and Nigel. Subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. We are about to let the juice run wild here. Caller roulette coming up right after Matt Baer checks the roads. All right, hammer crash clear on the north side, eastbound 465 at Ditch. Still slow to Michigan Road and then northbound 465 on the northwest side. It's all jammed up right now, 86th Street, 2865. On the east side, northbound 465, stop and go traffic through Lawrence. It's after I-70, I'm to east 56. Northbound 65 out of the north, a split is low up to 21st. Southbound 65, stop and go traffic from MLK to Meridian Penn. Eastbound 70 awaiting list going from Holt Road to the south the split and on the south side pockets are slow on eastbound 465 by 70 over to Emerson. This is a crash at 10th Street at Main in Speedway. Traffic sponsored by Drexel Interiors. Go or the pros go. Drexel Interiors for Timberlake Kitchen and Bath Cabinets. Visit Drexel's Design Centers at 146th Street and River Road or North Shadeland online at drexelin.com. I'm Matt Bear. Follow us for us in traffic updates at WIBC traffic 71 at the american standard heating weather center at 93 wibc buckle up anything can happen here oh hell yeah let it ride let it ride hammer and nigel present caller roulette do we have to i have a bad feeling about this all right let's do the thing go you know the thing all we ask you keep it clean and you keep it brief. If you're on hold, please turn your radios down. And Allison, have the dump button ready. All right. Sean gets us rocking and rolling. Sean, what do you want to talk about? All right. I want to start this off good. So you were talking about cruises, and you have never done a cruise. Yeah. Um, I'm telling you, as, as a family of, I have four boys, cruising with families is like the best vacation ever. You pay, and once you're paid, you know, they have clubs and stuff for their kids. Um, you go hang out on, you know, on the deck or in this, go to the well, room by yourself. There he is. Oh, uh, I said, sorry. I said, you can let your kids go run loose because right. they got clubs and stuff. Um, you, They got a, usually like a an area just for adults. They don't allow kids to go back there. Okay. Um, I'm good with you, that. You, Thank you, Sean. I appreciate that. So there you go. There's a ringing endorsement right. for cruises. There we go. But then there's the whole norovirus thing. <laughs> uh, Devin, welcome to the Hammer and Nigel show. What do you want to talk about? Why do you guys call Nigel fat? <laughs> yeah. Why do you call me fat? Because he is. Oh, stop. Oh, you're thin? I could lose a few pounds. Right. Now, I mentioned I'm fat. Like, I have no problem <laughs> saying that. But... You're fat, too. Hey, she's got my back. I'm with you, Devin. Why are they, well, there's a lot fat. of back to get. Uh, let's hey go to Joe. Welcome to the Hammer and Nigel show. Joe, what do you want to talk about? Well, I tell you what. A couple weeks ago, you had uh, taken the WIBC song and turned it into the Matt Bear theme song. <laughs> I'd love to hear that again. Oh, the uh, the over-the-top, his jingle? Is that what we're talking about? Yes. Oh, I don't remember oh, that. Was like, so when we go at when we throw it to Matt Bear for traffic, yeah. oh my God, it's Matt Bear! Right, that's the the kind uh, of the jingle, right? Because we were talking about the iconic old WIBC. Dun, 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 oh, dun, dun, yeah. dun. 
And now it's kind of this watered down, oh, my God, it's Matt Bear. <laughs> uh, Jenny, welcome to the Hammer and Nigel show. Jenny, what do you want to talk about? Well, yesterday I got a political survey call. Oh, okay. And I kind of got a feeling that they were pushing Jefferson Shreve. Mm. Okay. And sorry, I live in the area where he would be our congressman. Congressman, heaven forbid. But um, did you give him an earful? Asking, <laughs> well, kind of. They asked, you know. Was my opinion of him favorable, unfavorable, or, you know, and I said extremely unfavorable because he's a liar. And you are correct with that, Jenny. Did they clap back? Did they say anything else to you? No, but there was another question that they had right near the end. They said, are there any guns in your house? <laughs> <laughs> and when you were talking to Guy Rover last night, I'm like, uh, I'm glad I told him. I choose not to answer. Right. And tell Jefferson to get his damn hands off of whatever <laughs> I got in my house. Uh, Jenny, thank you. Lee, welcome to the Hammer and Nigel show. What do you want to talk about? Well, I guess uh, Jefferson Shreve as well. My question to you is, what do you think every time one of his commercials come on during your show? I know I cringe, you know, just thinking about it. Oh, I don't. I like the money. Think? Yeah, if he wants to pay to be part of this radio station, that's fine. And look, there might be some Republicans that agree with his philosophies. Right. Personally, yeah. personally for me, I'm not in that category. I think you guys know where I stand when he ran for the mayor. And again, it's nothing against the guy right off the gate because I was ready to support him. Sure. Anybody but Boss Hogsett, right? But then he comes out and he stabs people like me in the back, blames people like us, law-abiding citizens, and that's when I was out. You can't turn your back on your base to try to weasel a few lefty ballots. You can't do that at all. Bill, welcome to the Hammer and Nigel Show. What do you want to talk about? I want to talk about how, fat or not, how does Nigel have 256 days a year? How does that make sense? How do I get that plan? It's more like Hammer and whoever we get to come on, and sometimes it'll be Nigel. And then he's on vacation? How do you have vacation time left available? I take a lot of vacation because I get a lot of vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What, what, do you, what do you see what's happening happening next month, bud? Oh, Thanks, guys. You got it. All right. Big announcement. Oh, yeah. Tales from the track. We've got all the info next. How would you like to get a 13% bonus when you invest your money? And not only do you get a 13% bonus, you'll also get an annual return that's averaged 7% a year for the past 10 years. Hey, it's Kendall and Casey. Discover how you can get an upfront 13% bonus plus a competitive annual return that's averaged 7% a year for the past 10 years. Learn more from the retirement guy we trust, Bill Demery in Indy. Just call 317-932-9912. This is such a no-brainer for me. You get an upfront 13% bonus plus a competitive annual return that's averaged 7% a year for the past 10 years. And it's backed by one of the largest insurance companies in the world. So call Bill now at 317-932-9912. 317-932-9912. Past performance is no guarantee of future returns. Guys, when she's ready, shouldn't you be ready too? There's good news. For 20 years, Boston Medical Group has delivered a simple and effective solution for ED, proven to work when all else has failed. It's ICP, also known as ED Shots. ICP uses a custom blend of FDA-approved medications specifically formulated to restore healthy blood flow where you need it most. ICP works for 98% of men in just a few minutes, regardless of age or medical conditions. Previously acquired only by an in-person visit, our telemedicine platform now brings this virtually 100% effective solution to your doorstep nationwide. You can be ready for her with confidence. Call 800-940-2900. The first 
100 patients will receive 10 extra doses of ICP medication for free when you sign up for a treatment program today. Call 800-940-2900. That's 800-940-2900. Or visit bostonmedicalgroup.com. What's it like to choose your IPS? It starts with a strong foundation, pre-K. Then choose from elementary schools for every learning style, like Montessori, STEM, and dual language. 100% of IPS middle school students get computer science and music. High school prepares your child for college and a career with 32 career pathways. At IPS, it's about the journey and the destination. Choose your IPS. This ad was paid for by Indianapolis Public Schools. Your bathroom is boring and basic too. It seems like there's nothing you can do. A better bath awaits. You'll feel brand new. Relaxing in a world of peace at the Bath Authority. Hey, it's Rob. Right now, schedule your free in-home estimate and get $1,000 off a new shower or bath, plus 36 months of interest-free financing. Restrictions apply. A better bath awaits. You're our priority at the Bath Authority. Attention seniors, you're invited to the grand opening of Centerwell Pendleton Pike. Centerwell offers primary care centered on seniors. So come celebrate on Wednesday, April 10th at 8101 Pendleton Pike, Suite E in Indianapolis from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Enjoy food, music, and more at this free community event. Plus, tour the new doctor's office and meet the care team. For details, call 317-648-5581 or visit meetcenterwellindiana.com. Coming up in two minutes, John Herrick reports on the 17-year-old charged in a shooting downtown. IMPD says there were no problems with the curfew last weekend, and there's a chance that rain could return tonight, possibly severe storms tomorrow. All that and more coming up after Fox News Radio from the Technology Recycler Studios. You are listening to 93 WIBC, WIBC HD1 Indianapolis. It's 5 o'clock. They could have stopped a runaway train. Lisa Brady, Fox News. That message from a judge in Michigan to the first parents convicted in a mass school shooting. James and Jennifer Crumley sentenced today to 10 to 15 years in prison for involuntary manslaughter. Convictions Oakland County Judge Cheryl Matthews says are about actions and lack of action. About repeatedly ignoring things that would make a reasonable person feel the hair on the back of their neck stand up. Opportunity knocked over and over again, louder and louder, and was ignored. The shooter, who was 15 at the time, had drawn a gun and the words, help me, on schoolwork, and wrote in a journal he wanted help, but that his parents weren't listening. Jennifer Crumbly telling the court they were in the dark about previous issues, including on the morning of the shooting, when they were called to a meeting in a school counselor's office. Ethan Crumbly, now serving life in prison, opened fire in a hallway at Oxford High that same day with a gun his parents had bought for him. It is devastating and heartbreaking breaking that it doesn't appear that either of you cherished or even wanted your son. But I wholeheartedly wanted and cherished mine. The mother of Justin Schilling, one of four students killed, says the tragedy was preventable. Family members of Americans held hostage by Hamas hold a meeting with the vice president. After a meeting with Vice President Kamala Harris and other senior administration officials here, Jonathan Dekelhen says it's clear negotiators put a hostage deal on the table. We are waiting now and the world waits for Hamas to get to yes. It is in their court. There is no reason not to move forward on this deal. Dekel Hen's son, Sagi, was kidnapped from his kibbutz on October 7th, more than six months ago. Fox's Jared Halpern at the White House, where officials say a potential deal would offer a ceasefire of several weeks for releasing hostages. America is listening to Fox News. 93 WIBC Mobile News. On the level, on the go. A couple of charges for a teenager, 70 degrees, cloudy in downtown Indianapolis. Nothing on your radar, low of 52 tonight. I'm Harrison Silcox for the Bashelis Corporation. Here's what's trending at 502. An arrest has been made in a shooting where seven kids were hurt in downtown Indianapolis. John Herrick reports. On Tuesday morning, IMPD said they arrested a 17-year-old who was later identified as King Dennis on two counts of criminal recklessness and dangerous possession of a firearm. The criminal recklessness counts are felonies. 
the dangerous possession of a firearm count as a misdemeanor. The Marion County Prosecutor's Office says Dennis's criminal history, the conduct he's accused of committing, and the state statute require that Dennis face felony charges as an adult. Investigators believe there could be more suspects in that shooting that happened March 30th at the corner of Illinois and Maryland streets, so they're following up on that. John Herrick, 93, WIBC Mobile News. The downtown curfew put in place after that shooting isn't going anywhere. Our goal is not to just go out and just find every young person and you know enforce a curfew. Our goal and objective is to keep our young people, our youth safe. I am PD Lieutenant Shane Foldy. Police say nobody broke the curfew last weekend, and they'll let you know if they ever get rid of it. Daniel Andrews and Lyndon Smith are two semi-truck drivers that got into a fight Saturday at a rest stop on I-65 near the Henryville exit. State police believe Andrews came at Smith with a pipe and was stabbed. Detectives do believe that uh, the, the altercation uh, warranted uh, both men to be charged. Sergeant Kerry Holes, police say they need some more clear info, so if you know anything, give them a call. Some parts of the state can expect several inches of rain starting tonight, says Joe Neal with the National Weather Service. Late today into tonight, uh, we'll have uh, some showers and a few thunderstorms. Uh, could produce some locally heavy rainfall, but not really uh, anything that we're super concerned about. There's a possibility of severe weather east of Indianapolis tomorrow. Neal says strong winds and hail could be a factor. You're one minute away from traffic and weather. It's 504. Michelis presents Password. The word is basement. Okay. Wet. Yeah. Rain. Um, leaky. Mm, faucet. Stinky. Socks. Uh, moldy. Uh, uh, underwear. What? Ugh. It's basement. Oh. Really moldy underwear? Uh, well, sometimes. Ew. I did not need to know that. Basement waterproofing and French drains. Life happens. Michelis happens to help you through it. Come on. Take your basement back. 844-FIX-INDY. With traffic on the fives at 5.05, here's Matt Bear. All right, Harrison, Southside stopped in the construction zone of eastbound 465. We have police activity after the Man Road exit. The left lane is blocked right now. Traffic is stopped back to I-70 and a little bit beyond. You should be through that in 14 minutes, let's hope. Eastbound 70 stop and go from Holt Road into the south split. Southbound 65 grind, MLK to Meridian, Penn, Lawrence, northbound 465 slow, 70 up to 71st. Eastbound 465 stop and go Westfield Boulevard to Allisonville Road, a crash Speedway, 10th at Main Street, Grash, Hancock County, U.S. 4600. Traffic sponsored by Mr. Quick Home Services. Springs here, so it's the perfect time to get your HVAC in top shape with Mr. Quick's $49 preseason tune-up. Get ahead of the heat and enjoy comfort all summer. Visit MrQuickHomeServices.com and get your tune-up today. I'm Matt Bear. Follow us for instant traffic updates at WIBC Traffic. And the forecast from the American Standard Heating Weather Center. Sky showers and a few storms tonight into Wednesday morning with lows in the low 50s. Then we'll see more widespread rain and storms Wednesday afternoon to Wednesday night and Thursday. Highs on Wednesday will struggle to get into the mid-60s. I'm Wish TV Storm Track 8 meteorologist Stephen Deanna for 93 WIBC. I'm Harrison Silcox on the level on the go and on WIBC.com. Hammer and Nigel. Can you believe these characters are weirdos? So let's rock! They call him the Iceman, but today at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, he is red hot, and he is the winner of the 92nd Indianapolis 500-mile race. Scott Dixon from New Zealand drives target Chip Ganassi racing into victory lane. Yeah, baby! My name is Nigel at Station Hammer. Uh, I'm counting on my hands and toes. 22 days until the month of May, and we have a big announcement right now. Our annual Tales from the Track event. Presented by our awesome friends at Relay Indiana, feature Scott Dixon yeah. this year, the Iceman. Oh boy, one of the greatest Indy car drivers in the history of the series, the 2008 Indy 500 champion, six-time 
IndyCar Series champion, second all-time in wins, the winningest active driver. We are going to have an evening with Scott Dixon Monday, May 20th, and it's at a new location this year. Last couple of years, we've done the lobby here at the radio station. Yeah. This is going to be awesome. The Vision Loft Stutz. So this is over at the Stutz building, 1060 North Capitol. I've done some events over there as a DJ in the past. Beautiful event center. Uh, this place is going to be awesome. And with your ticket purchase, you get dinner. You get registered for the door prizes we're going to be giving away. You can ask questions to Scott Dixon. Nigel and I are going to host, you know, nearly an hour-long conversation with Scott Dixon, and you guys can ask your questions. And the best part, at the end, Scott's going to do a meet-and-greet with everybody. You can get your picture, autograph with Scott Dixon, and it's happening race week. I mean, this is this is an event. This is an experience. So if you're a, a super, even if you're not a... A, a race fan. This is something that you're going to want to check out because it's just it's, it's more than just us interviewing Scott Dixon and then him taking pictures and leaving. It's much more than that. We've done several of these now. We've hosted Dario, Ed Carpenter, Bobby Unser, Bobby Unser, Tony Kanon. Tony, oh, TK. Yeah, TK was excellent. When I was the and promotions director, this whole thing was kind of my brainchild. Mario was the very first one, and Paul Page hosted that. Incredible. And then uh, Al Jr. and Scott Goodyear, uh, they teamed up for a recap of that dramatic finish that they had one year. So this is something I look forward to every single year. The Spirits this year, Nige, presented by our friends at Hotel Tango. Oh, Okay. Right. So even if you're halfway interested in Indy 500, maybe you have a, a family member that is is over the top Indy 500 fan. This is a great gift idea. Right. Right. This is a bucket list type of deal sure. for this level of a driver. Scott Dixon. So tickets go on sale this Thursday morning. Okay. Thursday morning at WIBC.com. We've got the uh, link pinned to the top of our Twitter. It's on our Facebook and if you don't use social media, if you go to the website at WIBC.com, look for the events section, and that will be listed on there. Uh, $75 is your ticket price, 75 bucks. But again, you're getting dinner. We're going to feed you. We've got a beverage sponsor, Hotel Tango. Uh, Q&A with Scott. You get entry into the Stutz Museum, which is there on site. Uh, a picture with Scott Dixon. Incredible. Again, this is one of the best drivers in the history of the series. And he's a fun dude, too. We are going to have a good time on Monday, May 20th. Uh, dinner starts around 6 o'clock. The Q&A portion that Nigel and I are going to do starts at 7. And the event itself is done by 9. Sure. So uh, it's way earlier than that. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, probably not even 830. It's, it's done by about 828, Yeah. So it's you're in, you're out, you're never bored. Lots of stuff to do, lots of drinks, lots to eat. And we always have the most awesome conversations with these drivers. Right. And if you've never been to one of these before, make this your first one. Okay. So yeah, again, if you know one to go to. somebody, anybody that's a racing fan, that's a Scott Dixon fan, an Indy 500 fan, or maybe somebody you're just getting into the sport. This is a fun event because these IndyCar drivers, man, they're so down to earth. They're so cool. They take pictures with everybody. They're accessible. Yeah, yeah, and they have a good time. And, uh, again, this isn't some stuffy interview that Nigel and I do. We sit up there. We have a couple drinks. You know, we're having a good time. Uh, so Scott Dixon is going to be our guest Monday, May 20th, over at the Stutz Building, Vision Loft Stutz, 1060 North Capitol, presented by Relay Indiana. Please make plans on buying your tickets starting Thursday morning. This event traditionally sells out, okay? So if you want to get your tickets, get your tickets earlier. And the Hammer and Nigel audience, they buy 
things, right? They sold out the bourbon. They sell out our charity events. So, again, don't wait. One of my favorite events. I mean, I, it's, boy, it's neck and neck between this event and then a night with WIBC that we do in the fall. It's, yes. It's, I, it's, it's, it's a tough, it's, I, I can't choose which is my favorite. They're both equally awesome. Because we get a chance to meet listeners, too, which is yeah. a big deal. We dig doing that. Like, we don't get a chance to go out on the road like some of the other radio stations and shows in the city or in this building or on this floor, even though we would love to and we sell out everywhere. Sorry, that was my inner off the rails from Rob Kendall right there. I like it. Um, but no, man, this is going to be great. We're going to have a good time. Please share all of that information. Retweet all of that information. Facebook and Twitter. Uh, look for Hammer and Nigel. Facebook, you got to physically find it because Zucker Nerd has us restricted. So just look for Facebook.com slash Hammer and Nigel. It's pinned there at the top. Purdue lost to Connecticut last night. Bummer. Here's the thing. You're a little bit older than I am, just like by a year. It's not much. But I feel like a grumpy old man today because these games start way too late for me. <laughs> and I'm a guy that stays up pretty late. You know, I don't go to you bed do? super early. Yeah. But come on, a 920 tip off, 920, one shining moment didn't play until after midnight last night. Why do they do that? Are they trying to get the West Coast viewers? Exactly. I mean, we got to cater to the West Coast because, you know, everybody in California cares about Connecticut and Purdue. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, I'm grumpy old man. Get off my lawn. Yeah. I'm Dana Carvey's character. I get it, but. How do you grow college basketball if you can't get the young kids watching your championship game? Because this is a school night. And I remember being as a young kid watching the championship game, and it would start at 7. It'd be over by 9.30. You know, one shining moment plays, which is the awesome montage they do. And then you go to bed, you wake up the next day, you talk about it at school. Well, now it starts at 9.20. And with all the timeouts and reviews and all the crap, it doesn't end until like 11.30, 11.45, post-game show. One shiny moment was after midnight. Yeah, I thought I thought we were going to have a ball game there for about the first half, and then the second half started, and I started going. <laughs> you know what? Purdue did the same thing, ironically. that's <laughs> You and Purdue kind of had the same game plan, apparently. I do think it's hilarious that the kids at West Lafayette, that school system, had a two-hour delay today. Good for them. That's the right decision. Yes. Good for them. All right, Matt Bear, what's going on? Looking at eastbound 70 big time drag coming into the south split from Holt Road and then southbound 65. That's stop and go traffic. MLK to Meridian Penn. Inbound 69, slow. Coming down from 96 to 82nd, and the northbound lanes backed up, too, from 106th Street down to 82nd. Northwest side, northbound 465, stop and go traffic, 86th Street up to 865, and the police activity cleared on eastbound 465 after Man Road. Still stopped, though, from 72 Kentucky Avenue. Crash, Broad Ripple, Broad Ripple Avenue east of Winthrop. That involves a motorcycle. Traffic sponsored by Cracker Barrel. It pays to be early because of Cracker Barrel. You can get early dinner deals on their signature dishes weekdays from 4 to 6. BM starting at just $8.99. I'm Man Bear. Follow us for instant traffic updates at WIBC Traffic. Again, if you know somebody that digs the Indy 500, this event, Tales from the Track with Scott Dixon, May 20th. Tickets go on sale this Thursday morning. WIBC.com. We've got the information on our social media at Hammer and Nigel. Uh, coming up in 15 minutes, Nigel. Scott Pollard is going to call in to this program. Former Indiana Pacer. Kansas Jayhawk. He just got a new ticker. Yeah, open heart surgery. Or no, I mean heart transplant. transplant. Yes, heart transplant. Dude, I think, was on his feet within 24 hours of that operation. And his family and his wife did an amazing job of updating all yeah. of the people that were curious what was going on. The good days and the bad. Yes. And it was a lot of bad days there. It was close. It was real close. So we're going to talk to Scott Pollard, and we're going to find out how he's doing coming up in just a little bit. Right now, it's 70 at the American Standard Heating Weather Center. Are you okay with this? Next. Hi, I'm Henry. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. 
I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA. And go to gawon'twait.com. The laundry room. For as long as I can remember, this was the only place to get a good Wi-Fi connection. Until we got Xfinity. Now we have Wi-Fi all over the house. So, you're probably wondering why I'm still hanging out in here, when I could be happily streaming in the attic, basement, or literally any other room. Well... The truth is, it's warm in here. And I like the smell of dryer sheets. Get out of here, weirdo. Hey, close the door. You're letting cool air in. That's wall-to-wall Wi-Fi with Xfinity. Now through April 21st, get started with 300 megabit internet for $35 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract and get free Wi-Fi equipment included for a year. Plus, ask how you can save 40% over T-Mobile in your first year. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires pay postpone and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. Actual speeds vary. Kimber's Xfinity connect more internet against T-Mobile home internet at $60 per month. Regular pricing applies after promo period. A sleep divorce happens when bed partners sleep in different rooms because one of them has a snoring problem. It's nothing to be embarrassed about, but it is unfortunate especially when there are simple non-surgical solutions that can put snoring problems to bed for good. I'm Dr. Madhan Kandula with Advent, where our exclusive focus is the nose and throat, which is exactly where your snoring problem is coming from. If 20 years ago you told me I'd be helping relationships flourish again, I'd have laughed. But in many cases, that is the case. Because helping your bed partner stop snoring so the two of you can get back to sleeping together again can do just that. Go to AdventNose.com today to schedule your appointment and learn more about our effective breathing triangle solutions. Because Advent knows when you breathe well, you live better. Breathe well with simple solutions. Breathe well with simple solutions. AdventNose.com Results may vary. Fellas, there's a lot of people talking about testosterone, but do your homework and go to a provider that you can trust. We recommend Low T Center to get your levels checked. At Low T Center, they make it quick and easy. You walk in and take a simple blood test, and you'll get your results back in about 25 minutes. If you've been feeling tired, grumpy, have noticed weight gain and loss of muscle mass, you may have low T levels. Go to LowTCenter.com and book your appointment online. That's LowTCenter.com. Low T Center, reinventing men's health care. Hey, Pat Sullivan here for Hope Plumbing. April showers can bring plumbing downers. Don't get caught in a flood this spring. Make sure your sump pump is working properly to avoid any damage. A sump pump is vital to protecting your home from heavy rains. During the month of April, my friends at Hope Plumbing will buy back your old sump pump for $300 with the purchase of an upgraded sump pump and a new battery backup system. Call Hope Plumbing today or visit them online at hopeplumbing.com. Go where the pros go. Drexel Interiors for Timberlake Kitchen and Bath Cabinets. Visit Drexel's new design center on 146th Street at River Road or on North Shadeland. DrexelIN.com. Everyone knows that soaking in Epsom salts can make you feel better. Now imagine soaking in Epsom salts in a Royal Spa hot tub. Ah, Royal Spa. Okay, let's begin. Are you really okay with this? Are you okay? Everything's going to be okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm pretty f***ing far from okay. Whoa! Are you okay with this? On the Hammer and Nigel show. Oh, yeah! Hammer, a grandma in Ohio is fighting the city of East Cleveland after a traffic camera gave her a speeding ticket while her broken down van was on the back of a tow truck. Here's Grandma Joan talking about her ticket kind of angry about it. When I get kind of angry, I want to find out what's really going on. What are they doing? I'm at the center 
getting this ticket and my car is on a flatbed. <laughs> I'm not driving that truck. And I don't want anything on my driving license. So far, I have a good record. And I'm going to try and keep it that way. That would suck. Are you okay with this? No, not at all. And the grandma needs to fight this with every bit of, you know, life that she has left because this sucks. Her car was broken down and it was on the flatbed, basically, of like a tow truck on the back of a tow truck. Yeah. And because the tow truck was hauling some serious tail, the security camera just picked up the license plate. But it was her broken down beater, not the actual tow truck. And now they're trying to make her pay for it. No, 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 no. I'm with Granny on this one. I'm Team Grandma 100%. A witness shot and killed a guy who appeared to be robbing, appeared is the key word here, Hammer, who appeared to be robbing a couple at a gas station in Texas. But it was later revealed that the, quote, robber and the couple were staging the robbery as part of an immigration scam to get a visa. Here's immigration attorney Sylvia Mintz explaining what the scam is all about. The person qualifies for a work permit while they're waiting for a resolution of the case. So they say, okay, so what would happen if somebody beat me up or if, if I was a victim of domestic violence? People don't realize the big mess they are getting into by lying and making things up so basically again a witness shot and killed a guy appeared to be robbing a couple at a gas station but it was revealed the robber and the couple were staging the whole thing to get a to get a visa into the united states are you okay with this so somebody here illegally decided to double down and try to do something else quote illegally to try to scam the system, I'm fine with somebody being dead here. Listen, oh, wow. there's an old expression, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. And look, I understand our system is incredibly flawed for immigration, and there are a lot of loopholes you can try to exploit to try to do things in this country. I get it, but... If you're expecting me to have tears welling up in my eyes because the illegally crossed immigrants tried to do something else illegal to scam the system, you're not getting it from me. So, listen, I'm sorry it happened, but I've got other things to worry about. There's a lot going on in that story. Right. It seemed like. Right. The Chicago... <laughs> oh, no. The Chicago Cubs leading 8-0 last night into the sixth inning. And lost. <laughs> Are you okay with this, Mr. Cubs fan? No, I'm not okay with this. <laughs> Leading eight to nothing after the sixth. Now, keep in mind, this is a game on the West Coast. So they're playing out in San Diego. So I stay up late. You know, I'm watching this Purdue game. When Purdue starts having their doors blown off, I thought, well, at least I'll watch some of the sure. Cubs game. Right. I turn it over there. Hey, Cubbies are rolling. Eight to nothing. Starting pitcher. Pitching a shutout. Let's go. And then the bullpen came in. And the oh Chicago boy. Cubs bullpen, it's to baseball like Sonny Hostin is to science. <laughs> Chicago Cubs bullpen may be <laughs> right now the worst in baseball. And every fan knew it stunk heading into this year. They played above their heads last year. No way these scrubs were going to have career years again. And the Ricketts family just sat back on their big Scrooge McDuck pile of money, claiming how broke they are, not addressing the bullpen. It sucks, Nige. It really sucks. And I posted this on my personal social media. It's not really baseball season until the Cubs blow an <laughs> eight to nothing lead. Well, guess well, what? That... It's officially baseball season now. Are they so are they not a good team? They can be. They uh, just took two out of three from the Dodgers. They've got really good starting pitching. Cody Bellinger is a star. They've got good young players. The pieces are there. But the bullpen, my God. <laughs> like, I think right now, Allison could be the closer for the Chicago Cubs if she applied herself. <laughs> there's, okay, there's something called speech fasting where people try to avoid talking until noon. It's gone viral because of a singer. The singer is doing it to protect their voice, but there's science that says 
It could lower your blood pressure. Are you okay with this? Speech fasting. Kind of hard for you and I to be speech fasters in our line of work here. Uh, this program probably wouldn't be very good if we couldn't talk all day. But they're saying do it at least until noon, right? It's the dumbest I, thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I got nothing for this one. Like, so maybe just shutting up is what we should call this. Speech fasting. Why do we have to give a title to just it? shut up. Right. Shut up. It went from somebody being somewhat shy, maybe not a people person, or somebody just shutting up, and now we have to come up with a name for it. Speech Speech fasting. fasting. No, this is nothing. This is a big nothing burger. Um, All right, coming up next, uh, Scott Pollard. If you don't know his story, he was a star with the Kansas Jayhawks in college. College basketball. Got drafted, played in the NBA with the Sacramento Kings, Played in those conference final games guarding Shaq. Played with the Pacers. Won a championship with the Celtics. Uh, He was the bad guy on Survivor. One of the great villains on the uh, TV show Survivor. He had a heart transplant. And for a while there, it looked like he wasn't going to get it. It was touch and go. Yeah. Right. And his family, his wife was putting it all out there on social media, keeping everybody up to date. We're going to get an update from Scott on how he's doing and this whole process. I'm fascinated by the donor process. So that conversation's coming up next right after we check the news with Harrison Silcox. 93 WIPC Mobile News. On the level. On the go. Gun violence near an apartment. Cloudy, 69 degrees on the circle. The rain to the southwest approaching Plainfield. It's headed this way. Low of 52 tonight. I'm Harrison Silcox for Lake City Bank. Here's what's trending at 529. A confrontation between two people on the northeast side of Indianapolis turned fatal. John Herrick reports. And we've got children and families out here who are having to see this. That's IMPD Lieutenant Shane Foley speaking Tuesday afternoon outside the Arbor Stone Apartments, which is not far from East 38th Street and North Post Road. He believes two people who knew each other were in a car and the person in the driver's seat shot and killed someone else who was in the passenger seat and ran away. They're trying to find the shooter. John Herrick, 93, WIBC Mobile News. Two semi-truck drivers are in custody after a road rage incident went down Saturday on I-65 near the Henryville exit. State police say both men started brake checking one another before pulling over at a rest stop. One driver uh, was stabbed uh, and was flown to University Hospital in Louisville for uh, those injuries. And he was later released from the hospital, says State Police Sergeant Kerry Halls. If you saw the fight, police would appreciate a phone call. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan says negotiators are working on a deal with House Speaker Mike Johnson on taking up the Senate passed foreign aid package. We believe it could be passed by an overwhelming bipartisan majority in the House actually onto the floor and voted upon. The $95 billion bill would send help to Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan. It passed the Senate in February with bipartisan support. Some House Republicans want Speaker Johnson to add border security to the bill. They're threatening his job if he doesn't. The average price you're paying for a gallon of gas in Indiana today is $3.67 a gallon, says GasBuddy.com. That's just above the national average by six cents. Colt Safety, Julian Blackman spoke to the media for the first time since signing a contract extension. You know, this is the place where it started, and this is a place where I want to finish if I can. Uh, you know, Everybody knows how free agency went this year for safeties. He mentioned two Tuesday, he would have liked the deal to have been longer than just a year. And with traffic at 531, how's it going, Matt Bear? Harrison, we're watching out for a crash in Greenwood. It's County Line Road at 135. That's a crash. Somebody's hurting that. Also, a wreck in Broad Ripple. Broad Ripple Avenue, east of Winthrop. That involves a motorcycle. Crash, Speedway, 10th and Main Street. And that northbound 69 from Fisher. Stop and go traffic, State Road 37 up to 126th Street. Eastbound 465 on the northeast side. Stop and go after Westfield Boulevard to Allisonville Road into downtown South Southbound 65 loaded, MLK 2 Meridian Pen. Northbound 65 to the northwest side, slow out of the north split to 21st Street. And eastbound 70 from the west side, stop and go traffic, Tibbs Avenue into the south split. Traffic sponsored by Drexel Interiors. Go where the pros go. Drexel Interiors for Timberlake Kitchen and Bath Cabinets. Visit Drexel's Design Centers at 146th Street and River Road on North Shade Led online at drexelin.com. I'm Matt Bear. Follow us for instant traffic updates at W. WIBC traffic.
And the forecast from the American Standard Heating Weather Center. Sky showers and a few storms tonight into Wednesday morning with lows in the low 50s. Then we'll see more widespread rain and storms Wednesday afternoon to Wednesday night and Thursday. Highs on Wednesday will struggle to get into the mid-60s. I'm Wish TV Storm Track 8 meteorologist Stephen Deanna for 93 WIBC. I'm Harrison Silcox on the level on the go and on WIBC.com. It's the Hammer and Nigel Show. Hello, my name is Nigel. Jason Hammer is right over there with a very special guest on the hotline. So the guy we've got on the line really is like the old Dos Equis guy in the commercials, the most interesting man in the world. Mm. Played in the NBA for a number of years, including time here with the Indiana Pacers. Uh, the Kansas Jayhawks, college basketball fans remember him. He was a bad guy, one of the great bad guys in Survivor history, and he's got a wild story. Scott Pollard joins us. Big fella, how you feeling? Scotty. I'm just honored to be on the hotline. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, we're I feel hotter already <laughs> to talk to you because it felt like it was, uh, you know, pretty close there for a while that you might not make it out of this thing. So let's start from the very beginning here. You had a health condition where you needed a new ticker. You needed a new heart. But last time I checked, there's not a lot of hearts just laying around in the donor program for a guy that's almost seven feet tall. Yeah, um, I'm trying to keep it brief. But, yeah, that's basically it. Um, short family history. My dad died on the transplant list because in 1991, the donor had to be the same size. So uh, technology is a lot better now. Uh, they have a lot more experience. They have a lot better drugs. Uh, I'm on all of them. <laughs> and um, they're not good. They're not awesome. Um, they cause a lot of side effects. They attack your kidneys, your liver. Um, some people end up getting kidney transplants in the future and liver transplants because these drugs, these anti-rejection drugs, um, cause problems uh, in a lot of people. Not always, but it, it can happen, so we're watching. But, um, yeah, I, I uh, got a virus that caused, that released this, this genetic issue that uh, two of my siblings have. There's six of us. And three of us have it. Uh, and, yeah, I was on a transplant list in, in, in Indiana here at St. Vincent's with my awesome team here. Um, and then uh, I went and got listed in Chicago at the University of Chicago because I had some relationships up there uh, with the doctors. And also the doctors here in Indiana recommended I get listed as many places as possible uh, outside of their region. Uh, and again, I, we could go into details, but um, the three hospitals I ended up being listed at were all in different regions, uh, which means they go from different donor pools. Vanderbilt does more transplants than most people in the world annually. Uh, and yeah, I was very, very lucky <clears throat> to get a heart as quickly as I did and at all for a guy my size. Uh, it, it just literally was freakish timing as well as uh, the doctors realizing how sick I was. I didn't realize how sick I was until I woke up from the surgery, uh, and I felt better, if you can believe that. Yeah. <laughs> Scott, how, with your heart, this Nigel here, S Scott, with your condition before the transplant, how did you feel physically? My biggest complaint was just I was just tired. You yeah. know, it was, it was like walking uphill all day, every day. So I get out of breath easy. Interviews like this were just not possible. I, I get so tired. I just said, started saying no to everybody. Like, no, I'm not going to do an interview because I would get so tired and I'd forget what I was saying. I had bad brain fog. Um, again, when I woke up from the surgery, uh, my brain, that, like, immediately they took the, the tube out, the breathing tube out of my chest. I started singing a dumb song. I was like, I'm back, baby. Unbelievable. <laughs> like, Incredible. And what was yeah. wild, Scott, was like a lot of this, you know, was out there on social media because your beautiful wife did a great job of keeping everybody updated and not all of the updates were good. And that's what I think your friends, fans appreciated. Uh, your wife was keeping everybody updated. There were good days and there were bad days. Yeah, and there still are. Um, you know, two days ago, I had one of the best days I've had. Yesterday, I was on my ass all day. Uh, it, it's just it, there are – this isn't a cure. <laughs> it, it's a treatment. Um, I'm, I'm going to be on these meds for my whole life. They, they take out your immune system. Uh, but, yeah, my, my wife, my beautiful wife, my amazing wife, uh, really it, it just – it was something to help us both because we couldn't respond to everybody and you forget who you're telling 
what to and so it just became easier to just say to everybody on social media here's what's going on that way if we didn't respond to anybody personally we didn't feel as bad because we were trying to get the information out to to as many people as possible uh because you know what i was just so lucky i had so many friends family loved ones uh and and fans that just reached out with prayers and i felt all of them like the whole time I had a very unusual experience. Uh, it was very rapid. I'm back home already. Uh, you know, I'm recovering, and I'm going to be it's, – it's not over. It never will be. I'm just going to try to keep this heart beating as long as possible. But the amount of people that reached out and the amount of people that, that sent love and prayers, I felt it. And, and I don't think that that had nothing to do with it. I think it absolutely had everything to do with how well my procedure went, how the doctors did, uh, how well I'm recovering. Uh, we've had bumps on the road. I've been put back in the hospital. Uh, I've had procedures that didn't go great. Uh, so it's it's never going to be over. Uh, it's always going to be a process. It's always going to be that I don't have a great immune system. I have to worry about being sick, being around sick people, uh, getting sick in public, you know. So um, there's all kinds of things that it's a new lifestyle for me, but uh, <clears throat> lifestyle, I'm alive. Like, <laughs> that's the key word there. Yes. I mean, did I see you on your feet the next day after the transplant? Did I? Um, did... Yeah, it was within 24 hours. Wow. They had me stand up, and I took a few steps. Um, it, <laughs> I felt like a robot. I, I was just connected to so many drugs and so many tubes in me. But that's that's how they do it. They just, you know, the longer you lay down, the worse you get. And, and 24 days... I was in the hospital, which is nothing in the long term. And, and all the stories of people that I know uh, personally now <laughs> that, that have had transplants, um, that, you know, there was people in Vanderbilt that had been waiting for months and months. And it just it, it goes down to how sick you are and how lucky you are. And, and I was very sick and very lucky. And, and so I... I you know, there was people on social media going, oh, you got bumped up because you're rich and famous. I'm like, that's just not possible. Uh, there's a transplant donor organization that controls all of the transplants nationwide. The doctors submit your data. There's no race. There's no gender. There's no age. It's just your numbers. And they distribute organs based on those numbers. Your need is number one. And so your status is the most important thing. And my status was two. One is the most urgent. Those people are on ventilators. They have hours to live. And I was two with exceptions because of my height. I was the tallest transplant they ever did at Vanderbilt, and they've done a ton, which isn't that surprising. I've done heavier people, but they've never done anybody taller. And so that in itself makes it a different situation. They've never done that before. And they, they ran into some things they'd never run into before. Um, but it's it, it's been a process. It's been um, what's the what Scott Pollard, former Indiana Pacer, just had a heart transplant. Um, he's back home now. What's the process been like for your family? I know you have a lo lot of kids and a loving, supporting wife. I just could imagine maybe the emotional toll it's taking it took on them. And are, are they how are they doing? My kids are doing well. The two of them are adults, um, and you know it's been easier on them. They all came down to uh, to Vanderbilt in, in Nashville uh, when I had my first uh, what they call a dry run. They, they told me I was going to get a heart on Super Bowl Sunday, uh, that I was going to get one on Monday, which was actually my birthday, my 49th birthday. Um, and so everybody rushed down, and we were, you know, kind of saying, you know, love you, <laughs> and hopefully not goodbye. Um, and it turned out that that heart didn't work out uh, for me on, on Monday. And so they, my kids, they were like, we're, we're all going to stay. I was like, no, you got lives, all of you. Uh, the second grader, he's fine. He could have stayed with us, and he did for a while. But the older three, you know, they have lives. They have jobs. They have school. They, my, you know, my oldest has a job. My second one is a junior at IU. Uh, my, my third one is a junior at, and at Carmel High, and he's getting recruited to play football. I'm like, dude, you got to work out. Your grades suck. You know, all that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, um, no, they, they just, I, so I made them all go home, and then a couple days later, I was able to get a heart. But nobody has taken more of this on than my wife. And she's been the caregiver. She's been the rock. 
uh, she's been there when I'm just like, forget it. I didn't want to do this. I did it for my, for her and my kids. Sorry. Uh, um, right. But that's a fact. I did not want to, to go through this. I felt like nature could just take its course. Uh, and it's not been fun. It's, it's not been easy compared to other people. Yeah. But it's, it's the hardest thing I've ever done. And I've been injured. I've, I've gone through surgeries before. It, nothing is even close. And you, you so, guarded Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> yeah, that's he, saying something. He, he knocked me out and they called a foul on my chin. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on. Let's, let's take a quick break. Uh, we're speaking with Scott Pollard, former Indiana Pacer, just had a heart transplant. Uh, Would I ask him about the shirt that he was wearing the day that he left the hospital after the transplant, and if he's been in touch with the donor's family? More with Scott Pollard next on the Hammer and Nigel Show. My man, Mark Deedle, the only real estate expert I trust and recommend with the sale of my home. How about Greg in Franklin? Here's what he had to say. My tenant moved out of my investment property, and I was done and ready to sell. I heard about Mark Deedle on the show, and everything they say is true. In 15 days on the market, I had a cash offer on the property, and it was done. Selling with Mark Deedle was fast, easy, and profitable. What separates Mark Deedle from the competition is the guarantee. Mark Deedle guarantees your home sold at a mutually agreed upon price and deadline or he will buy it that's how much confidence mark deedle has you pick your move date no long-term contracts call mark deedle today they will explain this amazing guarantee for you personally 317-755-4232 or go to his website markdeedle.com that's mark d-i-e-t-e-l markdeedle.com tell him hammer and nigel sent you hey mom hi honey mom i'm glad you figured out the video call uh, what's all that noise is it your connection no, just doing a few things to the house. Your room will soon be a fitness studio. My my room? What? Well, what's that noise? Is that your Wi-Fi? Oh, that. Your father's taken up the electric guitar. We're remodeling the basement for his jam sessions. Jam sessions? Mom, are you guys okay? That's a lot of changes. I'm just making some upgrades. And it's the home equity line of credit from Lake City Bank. The low fixed rate is helping us get things checked off our list. Oh, honey, gotta go. The hot tub is here. The, the what? Mom. Mom? Use Lake City Bank's home equity line of credit for anything from remodels to guitar lessons. Learn more at lakecitybank.com. Call 888-522-2265 or visit a branch near you. Subject to credit approval and equal housing lender. My husband, Bob, has Parkinson's and he needs more help now. And I need more support to help him. Thanks to Indiana Pathways for Aging, we're getting the support we need to help him right here at home. Like with meal prep and basic personal care and even respite support for me. Pathways provides Hoosier Medicaid members, age 60 and over, support for care their way. So they can live life their way. Eligible members can select a plan now. Call 87-PATHWAY-4 or visit in.gov slash pathways. Attention seniors, you're invited to the grand opening of Centerwell Pendleton Pike. Centerwell offers primary care centered on seniors. So come celebrate on Wednesday, April 10th at 8101 Pendleton Pike, Suite E in Indianapolis from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Enjoy food, music, and more at this free community event. Plus, tour the new doctor's office and meet the care team. For details, call 317-648-5581 or visit meetcenterwellindiana.com. Terry Stacy here. Honey Baked Ham isn't just for the holidays. Stop in for lunch and choose from handcrafted sandwiches, salads, soups, and more. Or take home a heat and serve family meal that comes with a homestyle main dish, sides, and rolls. Perfect for a busy weekend night and better than fast food. Have a special event this spring? Let Honey Baked cater with sandwich trays or a VIP buffet with all the extras. Honey Baked on West 96th Street in Indy or Greyhound Pass in Carmel makes it easy to serve something special any day of the year. 
Tune in Saturdays 9 to 1 for the Home and Garden Show for advice and fun. Brought to you by Michelis. Water, storms, fire, and wet basements. Life happens. Michelis happens to help you through it. Spring's here, so it's the perfect time to get your HVAC in top shape with Mr. Quick's $49 preseason tune-up. Get ahead of the heat and enjoy comfort all summer. Visit MrQuickHomeServices.com and get your tune-up today. Indy's leader in patio installation is now offering a new driveway package. Schedule a free estimate today at IndieDecorativeConcrete.com. That's IndieDecorativeConcrete.com. Com. Matt Bear has a look at the roads. This is trouble. Up on the northeast side, it is a crash in the express lane. Northbound 465 at I-69. And right now, traffic is not getting by this crash. So the express lane is backed up to Fall Creek Road. Now, if you're trying to make it through without using the express lane or maybe exit to I-69, those lanes are up to speed right now. But the express lane is done. I would avoid that if I'm coming northbound 465, say around Penn Pike, and I'm thinking of making that jump over to the express lane. Not going to do it. Looking at southbound 65, stop and go. MLK2 Meridian Pet. Eastbound uh, 70, stop and go. Traffic tips avenue into the south split. Now westbound 70, like you're going from downtown to the airport. That just slowed down from Tibbs Avenue out to Sam Jones Expressway. And on the south side, crash cleared still. Eastbound 465, stop and go. 70 to the White River. This is a crash eastbound 21st at Mithoffer. Crash Broad Ripple Avenue east of Winthrop and a crash in Greenwood. It's County Line Road at 135. Somebody's hurt in that. Traffic sponsored by Drexel Interiors. Go where the pros go. Drexel Interiors. For Timberlake Kitchen and Bath Cabinets. Visit Drexel's Design Centers at 146th Street and River Road or North Shadeland online at drexelin.com. I'm Matt Bear. Follow us for instant traffic updates at WIBC Traffic. 70 at the American Standard Heating Weather Center at 93 WIBC. Back with former Indiana Pacer Scott Pollard, who recently had a heart transplant. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, Scott. When you finally did walk out of the hospital, I think this was the ultimate power move. You had a Mr. Chow T-shirt on from the hangover that simply said, but did you die? <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> Was that a coordinated yeah. uh, thing there, Scott? Yes. Uh, yeah. Um, it, I've, I've worn that shirt multiple times uh, while I was getting procedures. While I was in heart failure, I had procedures that could have caused my death, uh, and I didn't die. And so it kind of became one of those things that's like, I've got to wear this when I live. And let's 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 make it serious really quickly there is no way that in any way shape or form i mean any disrespect to the donor family because they they gave me the gift of life right so i just want everybody to know that that is always on my mind it always has been on my mind mind and it always will be on my mind that, that this donor gave me another i don't know how long but gave me more years do you know who the uh, donor is scott do you know who the family is no, they have privacy laws. Um, I have a letter ready, almost. I have to do a little bit more edits. I'm giving them time to grieve. I don't. I didn't want to send it right away. Uh, and and the gist of my letter is thank you, obviously, and and with respect and love. And if they would like to be a part of my life, I would I would love that because my plan to moving forward for the rest of my life is pushing people to become donors. Uh, it's easy. Uh, so anyway, back to the T-shirt. I don't want them to feel like that's me just going, ha, ah, but did you die? Because their, their loved one did. Right. And it's not, I'm not laughing at them. I am laughing because they gave me life, and I am celebrating because I have their loved one's heart in me now, and I'm celebrating, and I am giving them respect and homage because they had a, ser- a terrible tragedy. It's not like it's somebody that lived a long 85-, 90-year-old life. I got a heart from somebody that's younger than me. So they didn't live a full life, and their family is going through a tragedy. And that's why I haven't sent the letter yet, because I'm hoping that enough time passes before I send the letter that they're willing to respond, because most people aren't. I'm hoping that they can see that I'm doing well with their loved one's heart, that I'm going to help other people and help more people become donors. And speaking of which, it's different in every state, but I can tell you right now, guys, please tell everybody. I'm telling everybody right now. Don't trust your license. We've already found out that a lot of people think, oh, I just checked the box and it's on my license and I'm registered. My wife actually went in. She had the box on her on her license, went in and registered. It was not. She was not registered to be a donor. And so 
double check it. It doesn't take very long. I, I don't know the website off the top of my head, but if you just Google donor and, and heart donor or whatever, become a donor. You can save up to eight to 10 lives and affect and let up to like 80 people heal because people forget the biggest organ you can donate is your skin. And you're helping people heal and helping people live a normal life with a skin graft from your body. When you don't need those organs anymore, you're helping save people's lives like me, but also you're helping heal other people that, that may not be in a life-threatening situation. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't, but they're in a situation where they're badly disfigured and you can help them with your skin. When you don't need your organs and your skin anymore, please save somebody else's life. Well, Scott, man, hang in there. There's a lot of people rooting for you, some you know, many that you don't. God bless you. Be healthy. Absolutely. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, man. All right. Thanks for having me on, guys. Love you. It's the Hammer and Nigel Show. Get ready for storm season because you know as well as I do, storms in Indiana can be fierce and they can come out of nowhere. So don't wait for a leak to have your roof inspected. Have peace of mind about your roof being able to handle any storm. Moss Roofing, M-O-S-S, -S, mossroofing.com provides free inspections and can spot potential issues before they turn into costly repairs. Whether you're looking for a siding replacement after a strong wind or a roof replacement after a hailstorm, Moss Roofing has options that fit any budget just ask moss roofing about their payment plans no matter your situation moss roofing has you covered with a job done right every shingle time i love that that's very funny contact moss roofing today 317-747-3665 317-747-3665 tell them tony cat sent you moss roofing 747-3665 or online at moss m-o-s-s -S, mossroofing.com how would you like to get a 13% bonus when you invest your money? And not only do you get a 13% bonus, you'll also get an annual return that's averaged 7% a year for the past 10 years. Hey, it's Kendall and Casey. Discover how you can get an upfront 13% bonus plus a competitive annual return that's averaged 7% a year for the past 10 years. Learn more from the retirement guy we trust, Bill Demery in Indy. Just call 317-932-9912. This is such a no-brainer for me. You get an upfront 13% bonus plus a competitive annual return that's averaged 7% a year for the past 10 years. And it's backed by one of the largest insurance companies in the world. So call Bill now at 317-932-9912. 317-932-9912. Past performance is no guarantee of future returns. Hey, honey, take a look at this. I thought Chinese businesses buying up Indiana farmland was illegal. Well, politician Chuck Goodrich voted for a special deal to let Chinese communist companies buy farmland. Oh, I guess that's why they're calling him China Chuck. Yeah, he also gave a sweetheart deal to another Chinese company to control Indiana land. Oh, he really earned that name China Chuck. Worse, that Chinese company that Chuck Goodrich gave the deal to? President Trump banned it because it was a national security security threat. Wow, I'm not voting for China Chuck Goodrich. He puts China first and Hoosiers last. Remind me, who's China Chuck Goodrich running against? It's Republican Victoria Sparts. Oh, I love Victoria Sparts. She's an America first conservative. She stands with President Trump to finish the wall and defend our borders. Oh, Victoria's got my vote. I am Victoria Sparts, candidate for Congress, and I approve this message. Paid for by Victoria Sparts for Congress. Well, changing question. Are you keeping as much of your investment gains as possible? High taxes can erode returns quickly, so you need a tax-optimized portfolio. At Creative Planning, our money managers and specialists work together to make sure your portfolio and wealth are managed in a tax-efficient manner. It's what you keep that really matters. Why not give your wealth a second look? Book your free meeting today at creativeplanning.com. Creative Planning, a richer way to wealth. Welcome to Tire Discounters. Oh, hiya, Phantom. Mike, you may be in big trouble with Chip Wood. Our owner? Free oil changes along with alignment? On any four-tire purchase. Michelin's up to 200 off? Yeah, sorry, Mike, but I'm telling. But the Wood family is behind all this. Oh, those rascals. But don't tell the accountants. Of course not. And what do they do again? Buy any set of four tires at Tire Discounters and get a free alignment and oil change. Make the Michelin's and save up to 200 more. Tire Discounters. See store for details. 
Overcoming drug addiction is difficult. The road to recovery is different for everyone. Find the path to recovery that works for you. Learn more at cdc.gov slash stop overdose. This is Inside Indiana Business Radio. I'm Kate Sharon. A newly released Regional Opportunity Initiative study was produced to arm the Indiana Uplands region with current and comprehensive data in hopes to best position communities to address their housing needs and take advantage of developer and funding opportunities. The effort aligns with the not-for-profit's mission to improve educational and economic prosperity in the region. RY President and CEO Tina Peterson said the goal of the study is to get it into the hands of the communities needing it to make informed decisions. So I think part of our goal has been to work with our partners to make sure that this document lives and really serves a purpose and that we get it into the hands of those who really need it. Peterson said the need for housing has only grown since the last survey in 2019, a finding they did not expect after the region's focus on improving the housing stock. It's not that stakeholders weren't working